I have something similar where I don't I don't like crowds so much anymore. Yeah. And that's because I I can't vouch for what people are going to do. Man, that's yeah. what I just said. And, yeah, and also, but also, it's also because of where we've gone and where we are in society now. Is this some ghetto uh, PTSD business? Not no, because it's if you think about what's gone on in in events, people just letting like off shots, bombs and go, driving. Yeah. Things like that. I mean, you're not worried about stuff like that, are you? Well, I, I am. I mean, back in your mind, kind of bit, like I go in and I, I survey the area because mm. you know that's that's what you do. That's normal. But that's that's the surveying area. Isn't no, it? Like, yeah, but so if you look over the course survey- of time, it's yeah. begotten, it's become more and more. What and I've more learned, prominent. What I've learned, surveying the area is a very hood mentality thing to do. This yeah. is what I've come to know. Mm. So, like, I think somebody noticed one time, like, why do you always? Have a wall behind you whenever you're in yeah, somewhere, man. and Sitting I'm like, restaurant, make that's sure you see just the door. how we do, in it. Listen, like, when the get on man's going to a restaurant, why is it everybody's fighting for the one where their back is on the wall yep. and they can see everything? Yep. That's what I'm saying. Everybody knows why they want to sit at that, that part of the table. Mentality, that's bro. normal for me. And you have them and affluent, you get out quicker. yeah. You live. You have them people that live them blessed lives, and they walk into situations and like, da, 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 yeah, da, yeah, thinking, bro, <laughs> exactly. But then you realize that happens. You want to sit in a corner. You don't want to sit next to the window. Exactly. All of them certain There's things. all them kind of certain things. But well, this is why I said hood PTSD. Yeah. It because it's, it's a situation where because you've been through things, because you've seen things, because you've heard things, now you have some sort of post-traumatic uh, syndrome. Yes, 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 yes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, rodents and other small insects. I'm out of <laughs> Wow. Welcome to another I episode of Eloquently Saying say nothing. nothing. There's something wrong with my chest. This is episode 77? 76. 77. Aha. 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 Um, hashtag ESN pod on all your social medias. And you will find us at ESM Podcast on all your social medias. Eloquently Say Nothing. Search for us on Facebook. Once again, this is the Eloquently Say Nothing podcast, episode number 77. I am Stavros Boss. And in the room with me tonight, well, forgive my uh, voice for one, uh, but in the room with me tonight, we have um, the actor. What's going on, people? No monologue this week, uh, but I will have one next week. Well, one, one, one good thing comes with a bad thing in it. So, um, this is true. Simple Simon. Black bastard, not you, simple. Well, you can't breathe anyway. So I didn't say which one was good or bad. Being punished. But yeah, my, yeah. My, my breathing is is messed up. Apologies for the third time. Simple Simon. It's quite difficult being Jamaican these days. Like we didn't qualify for the World Cup. It's not your fault. And uh, we have to watch everybody else playing. People, That's, it's Raheem Sterling's fault. We didn't qualify. You know? <laughs> people that are <laughs> people that are playing in this World Cup that almost playing like they don't deserve to be there. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So. I'm just saying. I don't think they play that bad. Uh, soko, soko, hey. soko, soko, Are you saying you're not in the World Cup like you're not half Nigerian? It, well, you were in the World Cup. I don't know about that team there. I don't know. You got about one foot in, one foot out. I bro. don't know about them. So you just renounced them. I'm watching Senegal, bruv. Most of my Ibo as well. But anyway, Soko, Soko, <laughs> hey. Soko, they are. Soko, <laughs> soko, soko. We also have Big Wahala. Soko, 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 Soko. I'm in the building, people. Big Wahala, what's good? Mr. Wolf is not around. He's probably uh, drowning his uh, tears stout. after the Nigeria loss with some stout or something. So, uh, big up Mr. Wolf. It's unfortunate. We, we almost shot ourselves in the foot, man. Almost? Well, we did. We had the own goal and then we gave away a r- ridiculous penalty for no good reason. But what can you do? In Africans, we do things that, you know, suffer and smile. That's what we do. Suffer, suffer and, and smile. smile. That's such, I right, don't want to live by that at all, boy. Hashtag suffer and smile. You know how deep that song is? Mm. Do you know how deep the mm. meaning of that song? Of course. Every day my inside bus suffering and smiling. Yeah, how deep that, that meaning of that is. And it is it for me it signifies Africa so well. Mm. Africans suffer every day with different shit. But we are still smiling. Always smiling and praising God. Um, amen. The same God that is giving you the trouble is the same God you are praising. But anyway, let us Boy, let us continue. Those are the views of Big Wana. That's right, suffering and smiling. Can I tell you guys a quick story about a very, very quick thing? Listen up, I got a story to tell. I was in Cockwell's station and I was walking towards the train. And beside me, there was a dude, he had a bit of luggage. I don't know if he was going to Heathrow or whatnot. But he had a red hat on. The America, America great hat on. 
Now, yeah, the Margot hat on. Yeah, and I'm telling you, I I've seen it on TV. I've seen people talk about it. I saw Kanye wearing it, and it, I was shrugged my shoulders like near enough every time. <laughs> 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 you just beat the phone. Sorry, I did one uncle thing. Gone. And uh, when I saw it in the flesh, mm. I looked at this person, and it, he might as well have had a white hood on his head. Wow. No, it was that deep. It's like it, it, it. I felt it. It's like. Did he think he called him? <laughs> did, did he look at you and like? No, he was minding his own what, business. What you at? He didn't look like he was from around. Here. He was minding his own business, like he was. He what looked he, like he was from around here. Yeah. And I was just like. I, I actually stopped in my tracks. Did you think he was going to ask you to carry his bag? Did he spit, there, did he spit tobacco? You yeah. know, he's just joking about this. I'm telling you that I felt traumatized yeah, by, the, carry my bag, boy. By, the, by, the, by the red hat. Did you punch him in his throat? No. So then, what are you telling us this for? Should I punch him in his throat? He's mm-hmm. wearing a mug hat. Deal with his case. No, I, well, I don't see that you have to deal with a man's case because he's wearing a mug hat. What's that to do with my life? Man, so you try it. and sit down with him and have a summit? I don't need to do either one. I don't need to go to extreme violence. I don't need to sit down and talk with you either. I can just acknowledge the fact you're doing something and. Why talk, is it written in the UK though? Talk about it in the podcast. Well, because it's being shown, isn't it? Mm, you know, in Maidstone, they, they, they sell it up there, isn't it? Maidstone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he might even know what he's doing. He might not even know what he's doing. Some people might just be buying a hat because it was in the. He might be a charity person, bought in a charity shop. Maybe maybe, sure. maybe that bag was was his uh, wasn't his luggage. Maybe it was his his belongings. whole belongings because he's a. Uh, How did his clothes look? Did he look somewhat disheveled? I can't remember. That. You know what? Let's actually give a couple of months for white people, man. He's, he's I'm not giving excuses. I'm no, saying I am. I'm saying if his clothes were slightly disheveled, he might be a Kanye fan. No, I'm I'm giving him. <laughs> it, it's true. It's, yes. What do you think about Kanye's new uh, pro uh, promotion for his? Is these his shoes? Yeah. yeah. That's why I don't even know what the promotion's for. That's how you know. It's I'm a very good promotion. I don't I'm, even know what you're selling. I'm selling. I'm saying this. Yeah. <laughs> It's I just saw did this. It's a straight no. I didn't. I don't even care about that one. It's a strange promotion. But have you seen the one where the woman's on the floor, like face down, ass up? No, that's the same porn star. Is it a porn star? I they're, thought they're, that was Kim por- K. No, it's no, a porn no, star. no, 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 no. Well, well, it's these, not that much different. One looks like Kim K. Soko, soko, <laughs> soko, soko, soko. It's Kim. It, oh, no, uh, slightly Kim Kardashian's a porn star, though. Wait, Jeez. hang on, go on. All right, so um, Kanye West has released his Boost Yeezys trainers uh, last week and he had a campaign and in the campaign he had many 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 pictures but it was the same thing everybody was lacking up behind in front of a grey background or something like that anyways mm. but they either wearing very little or very bland clothes like a t-shirt and shorts and they're wearing these trainers or they're naked some some of them are naked a couple of the naked ones I think were the, I think the naked ones were the porn stars basically okay so um yeah, you see a couple of them standing side by side. One of them does look quite similar to um, Kim, yeah, but it's not Kim. And yeah, the one that was on her knees or whatever, facing forward, is w- one of the two porn stars. Anyways, that wasn't on her knees. She's face down, ass up. Her, her position is just fantastic. The only other time I've seen it that good was the final episode of uh, Insecure season one. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Pe- people want to know about your whole tech porn, by the way. They want to know about my whole tech porn. Yes, everyone heard it at the end of the. I podcast. did go looking for it as well. Did you go? Did you see it? But I didn't find that one. I you, found others. You found? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tribute to a king. That's what you have to look for. I right, I will look for it. Tribute to a king, bro. guys. I was called a whole tech misogynist, by the way. What does that in fact, mean? No, sorry, we were called a whole tech misogynist. What does that mean? Who was we? By, by who? People on the podcast. A listener, a, a new listener. Okay, that's but fine. we'll get to that soon. Uh, let, let's see what uh, Wilder's got. To uh, say. Remember yesterday, I said to you guys. Okay, so me and Stav went to go see Jay Z and Beyonce yesterday. Yeah. You went? Yeah, we went to this concert. Raw. Um, with our women's. With our women's, yeah. Um, for, for me, it was an all right concert, but it was not a Jay-Z concert. It was more of a Beyonce concert. So what, both of Beyonce, you... Beyonce featuring Jay-Z. Both of you remortgaged your houses, yeah? I didn't pay. My missus bought these concerts. Jeez! My missus bought these tickets. What? Mm. And she bought tickets for other people, I guess. Just gave to both. <laughs> Is that how she's moving? She's I, moving s- like I said, clearly, no. clearly, we need to look at our finances if you could be buying these tickets. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I just give them away. I got tickets for you, tickets <laughs> for you, tickets for you. She she has, my missus told well me how much these tickets cost. I'm almost dead. O- on the spot, they almost dropped down. <laughs> but yeah, man, I've been to Jay Z concerts before. I prefer going to a Jay Z concert because what he did basically was give us um, the, the commercial songs that. The people that Beyonce's fans would know, basically. Mm. So it wasn't for me. But I said something. I don't know if Stav heard me. Yesterday I said, Jay-Z hasn't cut his hair. And you remember I said why Jay-Z don't cut his hair? I heard what you said. um, Because, um, yeah, anyway, I heard. You said that you reckon he might be making an album because Jay-Z doesn't cut his hair when he makes an album. So 
Straight off the press, coming from your missus actually. She just sent she just sent the link and, and I saw it on my on my watch. I said, What's this? Jay-Z and Beyonce just released the album. Just now. Just come out now. Look at my brother though, the super fan. I'm telling you. This is why every time we talk about Nas, you must include Jay Z's. Bun Nas, innit? Bun Nas. Bun Nas, the first Because I was going to rubbish it and be like, he just released an album. Why would he be making a new one? The Cutters. They, they got an album. It came out just now. I mean, it's got five songs on it. It's got nine songs on the album. Oh, nine. Raw. So you've really been on, on to Tidal. How many no, of and how many of hers? Huh? How many of hers and how many of hers? It's the same songs. It's one called Summer. Second one's called Ape Shit. Okay, we don't need the track list. You know what? We, we might be the first one to be able to talk about it. But by the time this comes out, everybody will know about it. Yeah, they will all know about that album. Just know that I said it, innit? But yeah, so uh, yeah, they come out with a yeah, new album. Yeah, all right, that's good. Because I didn't know about the album, and he and he d- he did say this. Was it yesterday? Yeah, breaking oh. news. Yeah, so all right, well done for breaking for, for catching that news. <laughs> so yeah, so um yeah, the Jay Z Beyonce concert is boy. I'm too old for these for these um, stadium concerts. Why well, what happened now, bro? I can't stand up again. Yeah, <laughs> I tried to stand up for the ah. It was deep. I was in pain. Where was it? Your knees or your lower back? Everywhere. <laughs> I, I did legs the day before like a fool. So I was in pain. <laughs> so you were suffering. The day. We were there early as well so we can try and get a place for my missus to be able to stand and watch. Bruv, I was in pain. Where man. was that? The Olympic Park, right? Yeah, at the Olympic Park. Um, That's the London Stadium. Yeah, man. And it's, it's a different it's a different crowd now. Man. When I went to this concert, I just did not... I didn't know that people were like this. Like, they don't watch the show. They watch the they watch the monitors, isn't it? They watch no, the big screen. They don't watch the monitors. Their phones. They, they watch, watch their, phones. their phones. All they do is put up their phones so no one else can see behind them. That's all they were doing. I guess they almost had to wrap up a couple of people as well. You and my missus almost had to wrap up a couple of people as well. Stav was bullying people apparently. I, I was being a normal good person and not bullying yesterday. I told my missus, if I was with the mandem now, we'd be bullying by now because we would have just pushed our way to the front <laughs> because these people are just doing a foolishness. But I said, because you're here and we, I want to be in a nice, normal, behaved person. I'm not going to bully anyone, so we were standing in the nice. That's the, exactly let's, the reason I did it. Let's my be wife a respectable there. couple. No, because I don't want to be bullied. There's, there's people that it's, will slept there from, from all morning to I go and get I, in front. I can't just be bullying them into going in front of them. Uh, yeah, I can. Steve. Yeah, but who asked them to go sleep there? Yeah, but exactly. they did it, innit? They, they, they got their spot. Or they out of towners. They got their spot. They they came in early enough to get that spot. I shouldn't be there going to go and bully them out their way. I think that's... I'm not, I'm not a fan of bullies. And we, I, I don't like I don't, I don't like the term bully. But that's what you did. No, because... You I know that person can't do nothing to you, so you did it. No, no, no. What no, did you do? No, I, wanna, no. I need to know now. We, we didn't get there early. We got there um, late-ish. So we walked in. Um, it's a strange thing as well, because we had tickets to go to the good part, but we didn't know what, where we were going. So we went to the back. So we're at the back, and I'm freaking out, all right, there's this crowd. And I'm telling the missus, do you want to go to the front? And then, like, the last concert we went to was the Afro... I keep forgetting the name. Afro Republic. And that one was... A, even though there was a lot of people there, they kind of let you move kind of forward and backwards. And we didn't try and make our way to the front, so we never tried. Whereas with this one, once we got to a certain point, you could see it was just a mass of people. And I'm thinking, well, do you want to get to the front? Because she can't see nothing. And there's no point in you going there. You pay all this, like, it's a big money. And you don't see nothing. Yeah, you got the stage there, but she couldn't see the people on the stage. Just the, the screen. So she's like, yeah, I would like to go forward. That's all right, and cool, hold my hand. And I just started walking through the, the, the crowd, that's all. And once I got to a certain state, I was like, is this good enough? Do you want to go closer? Because now we're so close that it's like, it's very, very tight. And she said, mm, yeah. Well, I saw the, a couple of people that we gave tickets to, we saw them, my niece. So she she grips us up. I said, okay, you coming with us? She said, yeah. So now it's four of us. Carnival style. We're, yes. We're walking. Get to the point where I stopped and they've decided they're going to keep going on. So my missus had now taken charge. And she's she has now, when she moved forward, that's when all the arguments started. Not necessarily with her, but a couple of the other a couple of the other girls we were with. And then one dude tried it with me. He's like, Where are you going? I'm like, sorry? Where are you going? I had to look at him and say, uh, uh, he said this to me. Like, where are you where are you going? And I just had to laugh and say, Have a good have a good day, bruv. And just walked past because I'm thinking, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Where, why you wanna fight me? We're in a bloody concert. Just bloody please sit me sit down and let me do what I'm thinking. Yeah, but you you're pushing him out of the way. I'm going forward, going forward in a place where he was has kept his position. It there there is no um oh this is my spot only you I didn't can stand, stand in his spot. There is you went there, past how, him. How how is there? there is if you're standing in the spot it's your spot. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm I'm not trying to stand where you're standing. I'm going past you. Yeah, but you're I'm mo- not looking you're, at you, dude. I'm looking past you. Yeah, but you're moving him to do that. 
Yeah, but he's going to go spot. back into yeah, his so? place, isn't he? He's going to go back not, into his spot. Are you going to the people in front of him as not his people? Then? I don't care who the people in front of him. That's what I'm saying, care. bully. That's not I don't bullying. Think it's bu- I wouldn't call it I bullying. am not walking into this space and I care what you're doing. I'm not there to care about you. Yeah, uh, what did yeah, I just yeah, tell you? Yeah, yeah, my right wife... Away. No, no. What did I just say? My wife is there. <laughs> my wife. She, my <laughs> she wants to see what's going on. I don't care about what anybody else wants to see. And if if that's wrong, then that's wrong. Yeah. But that's that, well, that's what I'm going yeah. to do. I'm there to look after so my wife. Off in their pant now because of this. No, guy. no, 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 no. Alpha male. I am there to look after my wife. I'm not there to look after. Oh my god, Steph is such a man. The tens of thousands. No, I'd probably call it some misogynist thing. I'll probably get insulted for that. So somehow this will be the wrong thing to say. I don't know how, <laughs> but this will be the wrong thing. Like she can do it herself. Who are you to look after? I don't know. But that's my job. So if she wants to see, then it's my job to go forward. We got to the front. Two two. She's like, you know, it's it's too hot here. And she went back. We left. We left my niece there in our bedroom. After so we all went, that, after all that, like I said, <laughs> it's her that, that did that last push right to the front. Anyways, so we went to the back, and then two twos. I'm like, because the girl that we were with said, you know, you could get to the other side because everyone over there has got the same color bands as you. And I was like, okay, whatever. We got to the back. We're there for a good half an hour, and then I said, are you sure we can't go over to that bit? Because she said, I don't know. I said, stay here. I went around. I had to walk around for ten minutes. Cause yeah, cause we could go right to the front. I had to go right to the front, and then eventually they're like, yeah, yeah, you can come in it. So go back and find her, go back to the front. So and there was so much more space there, and you're closer as well. Yeah, so. they were properly close. So you had like the IP tickets then. I don't know. No, I don't, just, I don't get it. I don't think you got them quick, quick enough. Yeah, you I think I space. think she got them earlier. So I don't think she spent more sure? on the. I don't think she spent I, more on I this than, than she did on the other ones. I don't think she got them. Yeah, before. I think you, if you I, had the advanced tickets, I'll you, tell you what. I tell you what. Go to the hospital. Get them to do a scan. Make sure you got both your kidneys, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> she took them when I was sleeping. Well, was they weren't that expensive anyways. Yeah, for mm. me, what do, what, do you, what, do you, what do you count as... as what's an, all right, simple. What's an expensive ticket? If it, did it go over a ton? No. no. Well, with, with, with all the other stuff, it was probably around it. Just under a ton. Literally just under. It's a lot, man. But like Anything I, over £50 pound for me is too much money. She, like I said, she bought six. And let me tell you this right now. I'll tell you this right now, yeah? That Jay-Z Beyonce concert don't hold a... Bar to the Whiskey concert in Rabbit Hall, not even a little bit of a bar. You went to that as well? Yes. Wrong. I went to that and I was singing like I was one of them bitches that sing at the Beyonce concert. And so I, was, I can vouch I for this because he was sending videos. I, I was singing, but I was. Ah! You should see me, I was there, Papa singing. Everything Whiskey was singing, super I was fan. singing. So I got, so I got. I'm not even a super fan of Whiskey. I, I like Whiskey <laughs> a lot, like this. but I was singing because he was that good. And he has so many hits. He's got bangers. And he just kept on saying, this is the problem, man. I have too many hits. And he was just one after the other. He's got one bangers. After he has other. got bangers. One after the other. And I was like, rah. For me, it was like a rave. I haven't been raving for I don't know. I don't know the last time I've been raving. That was like a rave for me. Can I, can I tell people, like, don't invite me to rave any more raves, please. <laughs> Who's inviting you to raves? The people that are... T- people are still inviting you to raves. But ones that have met me in the last few few years, yes. I can't believe it. Well, we've got a mutual friend that's, that's invited us somewhere. I don't know who that is because I haven't got the invite. Well, like and don't me, invite me. And um, yeah, I might have to go there. You know, so anyway, but let, let me not mention names. Um, so, good, so, so good. anyway, so um, so that was my Marker Hat story. And do you want to extend anything with the Jay Z and Beyonce? Or that's your ah oh, man. I just wanted to, you to know first and foremost that the album was out. I think we should go over to the Nas album because it's been released now. All right, yeah. Let's talk about let's talk about music. Well, first of all, before we talk specifically about the Nas album, are you happy with this seven track? Every week, because I am, I like it. I, it's like I'm I looking am, forward am, to, am to the next album thing every week. I am happy with it. Am I going to listen to Tiana's one? I don't know. But, I am going to listen to it. It's like it's part of the. But seven seven tracks is enough for me to decide. You know what? If I don't really listen to you now, I, I might listen to you because it's only seven tracks. And if it's good, then it can be good. So, are we? What are your thoughts about this? Uh, it, because all right, Jay Z did ten, and Jay Z did nine, and then did the extra three. What on four four four? I think it's nine. Yeah, no, it's ten. 10 tracks. I will check. Continue talking. It's like a box set album, bro. Yeah, so like, it's, um. I'm like, why, he done 10, and I was thinking, how are you going to get away with an album with 10 tracks? But that's there? what it used to have back in the day, though. Mm. When classic <laughs> albums come out, like, it has got like 10, 10 songs on it. Are you sure? Yeah, 10 or 11 songs on it. Ilmatic hasn't got that many songs on it at all. I'm like, 10 songs? Ready to Die, I don't know how many, maybe about 13. Because I'm used to... 13 or Ready to Die. Because the, the time that I'm used to is, most of them had like 14... Yeah. Like that was normal. So when this one comes out and it's got ten on there, I was thinking, oh, okay, it's more like an EP, isn't it? Yeah, like, well, it's not because apparently an album is uh, more than twenty minutes of music. Jay Z's was an album. These other good music ones feel like EPs to me. More than twenty minutes, and it's, it's more than twenty minutes and more than five tracks. 
Oh, yeah, more than 20 minutes and more than five tracks is, is what they classify as an album. So I was like, when did Jay-Z done the 10 for 444? I was like, oh, okay. All right, you can get away with that kind of thing. And these lot now gone to seven. I'm thinking, yeah. Uh, but again, I guess we don't pay for them the same way we used to. I'd rather have good seven than uh, a 12 and three mediocre. But they're doing seven because they've got such a back catalogue of music or they've got such a, a a lot of music that they just put out seven, seven, seven. The reason time. I think this seven is happening now is because Kanye is producing near enough all the songs and he's he can only do so much in so much time. And, and he said seven is a good number. He, apparently he was saying that seven is a good number. He thinks seven is the best number to do. So he's doing seven. Because he's done way more than... Exactly. So way all the seven than, is the best number. I think he's just like, I, I, there's only so much I can do. No, no. I'm saying he's done way more than 35 tracks. Well, he did the whole. He did his whole album again. Yeah, exactly. He's done way more than 35 tracks. Like he's got, if, if you go to him now and say beats that are finished, he's got more than 35 beats that are finished yeah, 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 for yeah, this yeah, cycle yeah, yeah, that he's yeah, done. Yeah. So it's not about not having enough time for it. He specifically chose is. a number seven. No, because, he, he he, because he has that many tracks. I don't think he has that many tracks for all nah. of the people that he's doing stuff for. I, I think that he's the seven is because he wanted seven and he thinks that that's a, a long enough time period for people to listen to it and they will continue to listen to it. I think he, there was a reason behind his madness. I think Pusher said it somewhere, but I can't remember. Yeah, he did it in an interview or something. But, yeah, I'm happy with the sevens. I'm I'm happy with the sevens every week. I'm glad that I'm, uh, it makes a, it's, it gives you some form of anticipation, innit? And next, mm. which, 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 what's, what's the next album gonna be like? Is it gonna be better than uh, Push's album? Is it gonna be better than Cuddy's album? Is it gonna be better than Ye's it's, album? It's not better than Push's. Are, are we agreeing that Push is the benchmark right now? Push yes, is yes. the benchmark. The first one yeah. released out of the set so far. We're on week number four out of five, and number one is the best Pusher. So number one was Pusher. Number two was Kanye. Kanye. Number three was Kanye, Kudi. Kanye and Cuddy. And number four is Nas, which we can now talk about. Nazir. Nas, Nazir, Nazir, executively produced by Kanye. Seven beats by Kanye, I think. Yeah. All right. And what do we think? I think Kanye seems to be doing a great assist at the moment. So, like, his beats on other people's albums are great. But the beats on his album, I didn't like his. I didn't like the beats on his album. I didn't like the beats on him and, and Cody's album. Oh, I like the one with him and Cody's album. But the, the worst beat I like, the worst song on that is the one that actually Andre 3000 produced for me. Mm. Kissy go sometimes. That one I'm not really a big fan of. That one. Okay, it's very much like an old, the old school album. It's, it's like an old school hip hop album. What, that's the it? album, yeah. I think it's 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 not. You know, you got all these new school beats and this new school music. It's it's got a good few classics. That's like, yeah, I remember this back in the nineties. The only one that I can say that fits that bill for me really is um uh, the cars. The, kids the, got the last show. song. Yeah, the last song I was the worst song for me. Well, that's the one that had the old school. Mm. Like, at the moment, I've only been out for a day and I already don't listen to three songs. I've stopped listening to it already. I, 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 I bootleg, so I don't even know what the tracks are. <laughs> yeah, I just so the, the songs that I listen to at the moment is Bonjour. Once was enough. Which is uh, which everything. That was not a fan of. Everything. Yeah, everything. Is Adam and Eve. Yeah. And uh, is it White the White Label? Those are the four I listen to. The other three, the other three I don't listen to. So the first song I don't really listen to anymore. You weren't feeling bonjour. Um, the the second song, um, the one, um, the one with Kanye West, it's okay. I know it's a good song, but I don't listen to it anymore. It's it's a one timer for me. Mm. After I played it the first time, I don't need to hear it again. And then the last song, I just think is unnecessary. It, it, would, it wouldn't be classed or labeled as a classic album. It's just uh, it's a decent album. People Sorry. are telling me this album is better than four four four. Who no, said that? Who no, said that? No. Bruv, there's a whole thread on, on that I'm talking to people on, on FP and they're telling me that it's better than four four four. Fifty two weeks later told me that it's better than four four four. Man like Saddam Gaddafi, big up Saddam Gaddafi, told me it's better than four four four. Man like Franco with his dodgy foot and eye or whatever he's got. Telling me that he's better than none, none of these people are Nigerian. Ban him. Ban Franco because Franco was cussing me telling me that I don't know what about Jay Z. Look at his foot. With his, fro- with, his, with his crocs. How can anyone say that's better? <laughs> what kind of nonsense is that? What is he talking about in the album? But, but I don't know. For me, I was saying this, yeah. For me, this is nothing new for Nas. Nas just came, comes on and spits his lyrics. The lyrics ain't bad. The lyrics ain't special, though. Mm. They're nothing special. What he's saying is the same thing he always says, and it's not even better than he normally says it. So I'm what, sure there was a history lesson in one of the, tra- one of the tracks. One of every was, Nas but, album has a, a... He's the same formula. He has a song where he says... I, what I said about him today is that Nas is an encyclopedia, yeah? Yeah. He would just tells you facts, random facts that don't necessarily mean anything to the track or whatever. He would just say random facts within a song, yeah? Yeah. That is meaningful. But if you ask him, or if you say to him, what do I know about Nas by the end of this song? You might not know anything about him, but he's giving you so many different facts. Okay. Do you understand what I mean? Okay. Whereas I said, for me, I w- I, about now, I, start, I want you to do something different. 
I want you to come, even if you're going to spit these bars about um, Egyptian kings and Kemet and all of this stuff, yeah, right? I want you to do it differently. I want you to give it in metaphor form. I want you to make me think four times harder about how or what I'm looking underlining the, the lyrics. He's very punchy in the face with the lyrics. So he'll tell you, um, you know, what did he say about the, the black president? Um, I never thought I'd ever see a black president that I'll be proud of. Or that would be proud of me or something like that, yeah? yeah. Or a president that I'll be proud of. Yeah. Stuff like that. Nice lyrics, nice bars. I like to hear that type of stuff. But then I also want to hear metaphors. I'm, a, I'm an MC, MC type person, yeah? Nas, I know can do it because in, on Il Mac, that's what he was doing. Do you know what I mean? I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I shot my way out, my mom. Those types of lyrics. I want to hear those types of bars from Nas again, man. And he doesn't do those bars anymore. He's more of a case of just says things. So, so do you think that he's um same flow as well? By the way, he's 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 tuned to his audience. Is that what you think's happening? His audience is he's he's one of those people like Nas and Tupac of the same thing. They have die hard fans that will forever ride with them, whether they come up with the most rubbish or not mm. they are going to be their idols Illmatic made Nas a god to people mm. like he's a god MC. they call him god MC yeah, yeah yeah he's a god to certain people and he would never be looked at otherwise doesn't matter what he releases doesn't matter how bad his albums have been in the, in the past Illmatic will always be you was 19 or however age you came and you came up with that classic and that's my favourite album ever do you understand yeah 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 same I'm thing I'm still not a fan of Illmatic classic I listened the other day and I was just like, I don't even understand how this little boy made this album. Yes, how good it is. The production is so good. Just uh, please, just go back to Primo and Preet Rock and let them do your album. But anyway, that's another day. So I think with regards to this again, for them to be telling me that this is better than four 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 again, I just think to me you're just saying it because it's not. I think um, I, let me not be too um, let's not contra- be, controversial, let's but not be hasty. I think if I was to go back to Life Is Good and get the seven best songs on that. It'd probably be better than this. Big up Ransom Bats, he does the same thing as you. He said, Life is Good is, is that, better than this. Is that? Okay. Because uh, that had some good songs in it. I just think it, it just wasn't a whole good, wicked album. Life is Good is... But the, the, the songs that were good were good. Like the one he's talking about his daughter, the one he's talking about his wife. At least that one he was talking about his life, he was expressing stuff. Exactly. Life is Good is his 444 in a Kind of, way. yeah. But it just wasn't as good. But I, I don't know, man. For me... It, it underwhelmed me because it was meant to be Kanye, the best producer in the world. I think that's what everybody Nas, was looking at. The yeah. best MC in the world. Come the collaboration together. will be fantastic. Finally, he's got the best beats in the world. Yeah, because his album will be fantastic. Consistently, what we say about Nas, since the first album where he had, you know, Large Professor, he had Premier, he had Pete Rock, he had the best producers in the game on his first album. Mm. All right? So sweet. Then, as, uh, as he goes, continues along down his album, he doesn't get the best producers. I mean, Salam Remy, who usually has a long, is wicked, but he'll do a song or something. Primo is wicked, he'll, have, he'll do a song or something. He doesn't have consistent, wicked producers. He can't pick good beats. It's why, yeah. why Charlemagne says, I wish Rick Ross was uh, an executive producer on Nas' albums because whenever you hear Nas and Rick Ross on the same song, it's always wicked because the beat is wicked. Mm. And it seems that um, both of them like ra- rise to the challenge for each other. Rick Ross, because I'm a big fan of Rick Ross, and I know a lot of people, they, they look down on him, but I keep saying, all the best rappers, all your favourite rappers, or the ones that are gods, they all rap with, with Rick Ross. They're all happy to go bar for bar with Rick Ross, <laughs> and he holds his own on every single one of them songs when he's with, with all of them. Nas, Jay-Z, or Dre, whoever, whatever. He holds his own with all Push, of them. Push said he likes Rick Ross. I was listening to him on Drink Chaps the other day. He said, I like Ross. He, he, people like Ross. Rap, rappers like Ross, because he, he picks good beats, and you can, anyway, that's that's Ross. We don't need to talk about Ross. But what I'm saying is that what what Halle was saying is that Kanye West is one of the best producers of our time. Whether, whatever you might like about him or don't like about him, you can't really argue his prowess behind the board. And you were thinking, wow, finally he's gonna get an album with good beats. And I think the beats were just all right. There's some classic beats in them. You think they were classic beats? Everything is a wicked song. But again, I don't care about Nazi's bits in the song. I only care about Dream and Kanye's bits in the song. Nazi's bits is there, and I like Nazi's bits, but the bits that get me is the Dream and Kanye versus... That is the one bits. where I'm saying, if you heard that in an arena, it's, it will be wicked. Mm. Like, it will be so much better. I said Kanye now produces for arenas. Yeah. He doesn't, he, he doesn't produce for the boom bap. So like, there, there is that one song, I think it's the last song or the one before last, where that's a boom bap. You put that on your headphones or in your car and you're, mm, you're nodding your head. Like, it's, it's that video that, that was being sent around 
where everyone was just nodding their head, mm. scrunching mm. up their face. Mm. Mm. That's what hip hop used I to be. Adam and Eve, you only took about. Okay, maybe I'm not sure, but um. Ding, 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 yeah, ding, yeah, 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 yeah. Ding, You're just gonna nod ding, your head for ding. that. Ten years down the line, you might. It's, I don't think that's a song you can listen to all the time. You can't. But ten years down the line, you're gonna put that song on. Somebody's gonna play it on a, on the radio. You're gonna remember, and you're and gonna scrunch like, your yeah. head and nod your head again. Yeah. That's what you're gonna do. Whereas the song you're talking about was it everything? Everything. When you hear that in the stadium, if if because I don't know if you did that, those those massive arenas like we went to um, what, yesterday. Nas? Yeah, it I don't know if Nas does arenas but, again. Because okay, we said that. Um, Jay-Z did and Beyonce did Forever Young. That's the last song they did on their, their show. And we both kind of agree that that's one of Jay-Z's worst songs, if not the worst song. It's, I don't think it's actually the worst. It's one of the it's worst. It's one of the worst. Yeah, it's top, one of the top three. Worst. All right. But in the arena, it sounded wicked. Because right. everyone had their, their lights on, it was dark, and... It, it, was, it, it, it sounded wicked for it's, Beyonce. It's Let's a every, be it's a everybody. It's an everybody song. It's, nah. it's, it's a song that... Everybody will listen to it and say, oh, I can relate to and listen to it. Uh, it's a I mean, K- it's a I've, I've, I've seen him do that on the stage through video mm. and I, st- I still don't like it. But when I was there in the arena, all of a sudden it's like, oh, it makes, this song it makes, makes sense, sense mm. now. No, I, get, yeah, songs, I get it now. Beyonce yeah. made it make sense. Yes, she was very, because yeah. Chris Martin's on the original. Mm. And I don't care for Chris Martin so much. I is it Chris Martin? Yeah. Or is it the other dude that, no, no, it's, it's, no it's not Chris Martin. I don't think it's Chris Martin. Oh, oh, Chris Martin. Really? No, 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 no. It's, no, he's, he's, he's beach. It's, 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 it's the one that Kanye ha, was on Kanye's album. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, was on Kanye's yeah, label. Some German guy. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Something. Mr. 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 Yeah, Mr. 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 Something. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. White. Yeah. yeah, so it's him that. Did. So boy. yes, Beyonce was was Mr. White boy. <laughs> Miss, Miss, Beyonce <laughs> tore it up. Yes. Like, Baby, young. I said Beyonce. Because the singing, the singing bit now is actually better than the rap. Oh yeah, Beyonce. The woman's too effortless. She just does things too effortlessly, man. And and Uncle Jay Uncle Jay Z can't keep up with that. He can't keep up with that at all. You can see that he is like he was one minute. This is what, one minute in the in the show. He was actually looking at his wife, and I could see this man is in awe of his wife. He was looking at like he was actually looking at like I don't know what to say. I, I can't actually say what, what you're doing right now. I'm in awe of it. You forget how many songs they have together, you know? Mm, mm. Because yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I don't want to talk about the concert too much for anybody that might want to go. I don't want to spoil it for you. I think they do different shows every night. Though. <laughs> spoil it first. Again. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want to spoil it for yeah, you. Yeah, but we didn't say what what, what set they did. Next we didn't say what songs they did really. How they did it. And here's a set list. What the stage was like. <laughs> let's let's so go back to their the last, last song. Was <laughs> so let's let's wrap up with Nas and, to because Nas. to be honest, I think Nas is a is a decent album, and I don't think it's actually worth that much talking about. Quick Ooh. question. Hashtag Pusha T. Quick question. Daytona. If Nas was on the Pusha T album, as in Pusha T wasn't on there, but it had those beats. No. If Nas was on Pusha's beats. Nas yeah. can't rap no. as good as Pusha anymore. <gasps> and I'm not talking about lyrics. I'm talking about, <laughs> listen to, go back, listen to Nas and listen to how he flows over the beats. Same flow, man. No, no. Yeah. It's, his, his flow is pretty it's, much it's the off, same. It's off. It's not even on rhythm. It's like some of them beats, it's, it seems like Kanye, Push, like he rapped over same. a different beat. Yeah, but Pusha's, Pusha's fl- flow is the same, yes, Cocaine but rap. he raps over the beat so well. Well, yeah, and I don't think Nas yeah. actually raps over the beat so well. I, Nas has the deliver the the words, and in this one, like my brother said, in this one is a bit repetitive, but still, I'll, I'll I'll allow it. But he doesn't actually ride the rhythm well. And oh, Kanye has now got to the point where, because Kanye used to be a perfectionist, he would do songs a hundred times to get it right, and yeah, you know, he can't do whereas now nah, he doesn't do that anymore. He, again, if you listen to his songs, it's like. He did take one and he just left it like, yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, you ain't got respect no more. But uh, people are saying that this Nas album is fire and I'm looking at them like, come on, man. Are you lot, your expectations gone down that bad that you're telling me that this, this is fire for Nas? Like, who was it that always says that they compare their people to themselves? Is it Joe Biden that always says it? Joe Biden always says, I compare, I don't compare artists to other artists. I compare them to themselves, mm-hmm. yeah? Because that's the best way to compare an artist. And this ain't, this ain't better than the old Nas. Mm. And it ain't as good as some of even the rubbish Nas. I think it's in there with like the Godsons and the somehow not, there was I had to go back and look at some of Nas albums because I didn't even know they existed. Like the N word one, that untitled or whatever. They had some good songs on it. Yeah, but I can't even remember the album, bro. Yeah, it had some good songs on it. Lost tapes had some good albums. Lost tapes. When I talk Nas, I talk three albums. Lost tapes, Illmatic, it was written. Those are albums mm. only. What about Stillmatic? Still, Mike was okay, but it was a five mic album, you know. That got was, five mics, yeah, 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 but it should never have got five mics. Let's be real; <laughs> they gave him five mics because of Efa, which is still a rubbish song. So, um, for me, if you're talking about five, uh, uh, Efa, I mean, sorry, um, Still, Mike, he has some wicked songs in there. So he's got um one mic, yeah, that he produced. Yeah, he's got Still, Mike on there. 
that's another good song on there. He's got um is Major Look on that one as well? Mm mm. Major Look's on God's side. Okay, so um what's the one the gun one? Yeah, I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, that's on that album as well. Yeah, where it goes, it's not yeah, a gun one, it's the one where it goes, goes backwards. backwards. Yeah, yeah, that's on that album as well. And then, what else is there? That's a good track, actually. No, the intro for Still That's Still Mag, Mag, isn't it? That's the, name, that's the name of the song, isn't it? Still Mag? I don't know. <laughs> what else is there? <laughs> all right, all right, okay. Let's, let's, let's <laughs> not go into... We but they gave, gave it five marks. We, 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 we are not a music um, podcast. My voice is uh, sounding harsh. And, um, was you screaming at me? Beyonce! He was, you know. I was not. He Thank you very much. He was rubbing his nipple I love you, B! I love you! I'm a survivor as yeah, well! I had, I had multiple... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Uh, who runs the world? Girls. Who runs the world? Girls. No, I was no, the figures. The man said, I am a survivor as well. <laughs> when Who Runs the World come on, I'll, I'll actually... Actually, did one B boy start and this was screw face in the crowd, boy. I, was like, I, 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 had, I own this. I had so many people come up to me. Well, not so many, two. Bro, cheer up. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Cheer up. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a grumpy bastard because I was properly, I was complaining throughout the whole show about people doing things that is just actually enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> I was vexed. Like, why are you having so much fun? Why are you fun? jumping up and down in front of me for? Why are you taking out your cameras to take pictures of yourself? That like, I was actually thinking. I'm a grumpy bastard because I'm actually upset because people are actually enjoying themselves at the show. Instead of me to enjoy myself with them, I'm just complaining about their enjoyment. Let me ask you a question. No, I'm right now, up. when we was at the back, we was all types of people. Once we got to that front bit, it did seem to be majority white now. Now I'm standing there and Jay-Z did a lot of old songs. He didn't really do anything from the new album apart from Story of OJ. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So now, if, if you know the story of OJ, the first verse at least, it says the word, the N-word, like Multiple at the times. end of every bar, basically. Yes. Right? So I'm a, a st- a, surrounded by a plethora of white people, mm. a bunch you? of Jay Z fans. What are they mm. saying the N word? <sighs> I didn't know what to do. Did he say it? Of course, people are going to be saying oh, it. Oh, the ones near me didn't say it because I looked one of them right in their face when the song came on to say, Are you going to say it? I what? didn't say it. I said, I better not hear anybody say this word while I'm stuck. I said it. Out loud! I better not hear anybody say this word Stab, while I'm standing here. You did Stab, better, you did, you Stab, did better they than sing, me. Were they singing it to you, Steph? When they were saying it, were they looking at you? <laughs> yeah, I said, mm-hmm. I, yeah. <laughs> I said I better not hear nobody sing this word while I'm standing here. I said it can very I, loud. I, so, so, so you bullied them? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mitch. Yes. Okay. I, whether for better or worse, whatever the the audience wants to say about me, I saw people. Well, one in particular person, and uh, he was saying it. What would you have done in that situation? <coughs> well, me. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I always say, I, I, I mean, as much as I don't like it, what, do, what, do, what am I going to do? Fight the crowd? Mm. What'd you say, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> Tommy? Tommy? Man's chasing Thomas. <laughs> chasing, Thomas! Chasing them rabbits. I mean, them, them mouses out there, boy. <laughs> no. What would you do? In fact, right, I'm going to ask all of you. I would have looked him in his face like, are you mad? He was too busy enjoying the episode. Nah, fam. Nah, nah. Not when I look him right in his grill, I'll be like, nah, fam. Nah, you can't. You just stay. This is for you to sit down and listen to the song. Exactly. Yeah, okay, okay. Up, but, I, I, okay. I rock side to it's, side. I'm yeah, not, but here's the problem. It's not just that one person. I'm saying if a, there's a bunch of people around you. Nah, you have to give the... Uh, well, I, I did what I said was, I better okay, not hear nobody... No, I said they're doing it. So what do you do then? That's what I, I look them in the face. Like what you did. Okay, All of them. Each and every one of yeah, them. Yeah, okay, they carry on. Well, then they have to tell them don't say that. Alright, okay. So you tell people don't say that's right. the problem though. There's the problem. Like, they put the song out. He knows what the crowd looks like. I was yeah. He's got no problem with them saying it. I was disappointed in him for singing it. That's how deep it was, but it's in the part of the song. Listen, him and Kanye drew up niggas in Paris thirteen times. But it hasn't actually got the word in it. What's that? The actual the word itself is not in the chorus, it's not in anything, it's not something for them. It's in the song. It's in the song, but it's where? in the song though. It's in the song. Where? Of course. Not like, not like, uh, so, not like it doesn't, it's, it's part of the verse. It's in the verses. It's not part of the chorus, no. I don't think he, because uh, I was listening to it yesterday, trying to look for the word as well. Thinking when what rapper is not saying the N word in any verse? No, don't I'm lie not to me. Not in any verse, but I don't think it was, um, it's not prominent in the song. I just said that. Do you listen? Yeah, but, no, oh, okay. All right, buddy. Sorry. 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 I know you've been through enough. Oh my god! <laughs> Continue simple. No, that's not. So I'm saying, if the man's out there, he knows what he's doing. We 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 we're always ready to tout this man as a genius. So he knows what he's doing. 
So if he knows know. what he's doing, he's all right to do that. Then what's your beef? He has no problem with the word because he had a discussion with Oprah one time. Oprah was like, "You need to stop saying the word," and he's like, "Oh, I I don't feel like I have to stop saying the word." He says, "He's that's the worst thing about Jay Z. He he believes that foolishness about his turning the word positive or whatever, reclaim it, whatever that rubbish." Okay, is. so simple. You're not doing anything either. Who me? Yes. If they're saying it anywhere, in front of yes, uh, uh, hundreds of people around you are saying it. If they're looking at me, it's, and... they're not it's look. They're paying no mind to you. They're seeing, oh. they're enjoying themselves what in the concert. What can you do, man? What can you do? Yeah, that rascal. You know, I disrespect you. Know, I that actor. Just show them the sign, brother. This. I'd probably start a fight, but I'll really. Yeah. Gangsta not leave. I don't think you would. Tenement. Yeah. I'd be like, what? what why, why are you saying the word? Tenement. Yeah. Too much. Why are you saying the word? I would. I would. Create a ruckus. Too much the chatting, chatting, the thing is, I don't think like it's gonna be a mass brawl. So I don't think you'd it even get be beat up. Brawl. That's the point. It, 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 it's just the it's just, you. The principle of you can't sing this word. I'm here. It's a disrespect to me. So I'm gonna fight you. If they're singing it and someone is singing it to me like they did to no. you, looking at you saying, mm, mm. I, "No, I said they won't do that." Why? Do you, why? <laughs> because, why are you making stories? Because we're Nigerians. That's what we do. <laughs> we do so that. what happened was they stood in his face. They said, "I know what song is coming next. I was there last night, I'm and I'm going to sing it to your face." And you're not going to do a damn thing about it. So even Beyonce was singing it. Beyonce started to add that word to her repertoire as well. Yeah, she said it many times. Anyway, so I wouldn't. Fight, I wouldn't. Fight. I wouldn't enjoy it, and I'd probably start a ruckus. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't think I'm fighting for for that because these people might have been to the concert where Kanye was with Jay Z, and they said it's all right for you to say the N word. So they didn't say um, because it's called N in, Par- N in Paris that you know whatever, but they. But out because, of their mouths they said, said during this concert both of them say I don't remember which I, one I, of them I, said it I've got a feeling but it'll probably be this full concert, because they said it's alright for you to sing it does it mean it's alright for you to sing it because they don't, gave you they gave you the clearance sing it, don't sing am, it I, am I fighting for that though no I'm saying if they gave you the clearance does that make it alright no what if they were singing it to your wife when she was in the presence and she was annoyed with it uh oh here we go here we go don't bring up my wife see <laughs> I will, I will drake you. I will, I will push her you. you get me? <laughs> drake drake you? I was going to say what? Go into hiding? <laughs> Man is properly going into hiding, boy. Man, he's released that, that, that video now. What video? Uh, for, uh, um, what was it? I'm, I'm upset. He actually decided that he's going to release that still. He released a video? Oh, Did you see God. a photo of him stepping out of a restaurant or something with some woman with a bottom that was just ridiculous? No, yeah. I haven't seen this photo. This, this bottom. <laughs> Don't talk about it on Joe Butters. That was an empty bottom. This bottom looks like it was built to consolidate him there was a woman at, at, the, at the Beyonce <laughs> concert had a bottom like that. Maybe, maybe he's using it for protection the, yeah, the bottom was so ob- ob- obtuse that my wife had to tell me look look, look. <laughs> it, 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 it look uh, it, uh, poor lady she actually looked like they added it afterwards you know like that? Yeah, my, my missus pointed at one woman's fake bottom yesterday she's like look at this fake bottom what was she wearing yeah. because that's that's what mom was is she what was she white like a yeah shortish like a silverish um kind of i can't remember clothes. but she had like she it was you could huge see, and you, it was no, wide it wasn't so huge it was like it was really wide and and you could see like she had stuck things on the side like play-doh was stuck on the side of each hip uh, well i didn't look that closely boy I know where my bread is buttered. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't, I didn't know what it was. It's my missus told me, look, look at the, the, the fake bottom. I was like, huh? Then she's like, look at the sides. And it looked like you could see like it was stuck on. Like if, slabs if, of meat. If, if my relationship breaks down, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I, I don't understand any of these people anymore. Well, <laughs> I don't understand them. I'm not young enough for the game out here, man. I'll just, I'll just remarry straight. I, might, I actually do a range marriage straight. I might just go back to the Nige. I've said that from day dot. I'll just pick one from the village. <laughs> you, 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 you'll come with us. You're going to be the uncle? Nah, nah, I won't pick a young one. Not that. Young one. All right, let's move on to the next subject. Um, We got one cent in. Sorry, I'm still on the album now. All right, I got a question sent in by uh, one of the ladies from... Um, uh, color out the box. I still didn't ask him what that what that title was for. So if you could let me know, because I want to know. But the question is, it's it's based on this video, which I don't think uh, you. I'm not sure you two guys have seen. Where basically it's a date. It's a it's a car that's going around about two minutes. So I'm not gonna play it because it's not worth a year of playing. Breathe, bro. <sighs> and what happens is, <laughs> it's a date between uh, a man and a woman, black man and a black woman. And the dude is being very... He's, um, not, va- he's not saying much. Yeah, he's, he's not saying very much. Vague. Very vague. I didn't watch all of it. And even today, I stopped because it's like, what's this? This is nonsense. But um, apparently, this is the type of dating experience that a lot of women have, where basically at some point, I think she asked him, so what is it you're looking at in this relation- for this date? Do you want serious serious or not? And 
<laughs> it disappears. Have you seen it? <laughs> That's my favorite bit. Yeah, so you've yeah. seen it. This so when he comes good. back, what does he say? He's like, oh, I was, what do you say? Like I've been, I went somewhere to go and do stuff or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I had to go and do some stuff, but you know. And he was talking about if you can't support me, then I'm back now. But oh, no, this, this is the bit that made me laugh. Um, he, he disappears again, and the guy's back. He's like, I miss you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, the bit that, that's the bit that smashed it for me. I and was end, randomly he disappears after he was arguing with her because I forgot what he was arguing with her about. But then he, he it came to the bit where he said, you know what, I, I don't want you anymore. See you later. Disappears and then he comes back and he goes as I miss you. It's randomly, bro. <laughs> All right. So apparently a lot of women can resonate with this kind of dating experience. Now, I asked Wahala before we got recording. Question got sent to us just before. And I said, I don't know how I'm going to answer this question because I don't know anybody like this. And usually I say, I don't know anyone like this. And Wahala usually says, we do know some people like this. But I asked him, brother, do you know anyone like this? And even this time he said, I, I, no, I don't think we we actually know anyone like this. But the question is, why do guys do this intermittent communication, then disappear, only to reappear when you are living your best life? Now, I cannot answer on my own behalf. It's coincidence. Take it away, simple Simon. It's coincidence. Um, it's coincidence that when they come back to you, you're living your best life. Mm. Um, it's completely coincidence. It's not. It's not because you live, you're living your best life while they've come back to you. It's just, <clears throat> that's just the way it's, it's turned out. You don't think they might be watching you? Why would they do that? I'm, I'm a bit with, um, right. with Web Slinger on this, or the actor these days. What, that you're going you're gonna to waste your time watching? Listen. Certain mans will watch their exes just to see what's going on. And if they see they're doing better, like, mm, she's doing all right. Let me just let me just ping her and see what's good. Oh, let me tell you who what, they are. But why though? Because let me tell you who they are. Because they're opportunists. They're Lionel Richie. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> They are Lionel Richie in the crew, bro. Let me Is tell it you. me you're looking for? Yeah. Stalking blind girls. Yeah. Stalking blind girls, man, there. Because in the end, I think it's like this. A bit like what um, they had to say, yeah? They, especially when you've got a new man. Mm. When a man sees a woman's got a new man and he thinks that that's still mine, isn't it? That's mine, isn't it? Sometimes he likes to just dash a squad in, isn't it? Yes. Why well, you been, man? I see you're doing all right. How you been? I, I can understand that one if it's an ego thing. I can understand that e- uh, an ego maniac s- saying, I thought this was my woman and she seemed single, 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 single. The moment I see her getting a bit too attached to this one person, hold on, she's mine, and getting back in her life to like reclaim what he thought was his. Them man have got issues then, bro. I, can, I, I can see that, but I cannot see, oh, um, you were upset or you didn't have a job or you know whatever in your life and then when now that you have a job and you have your own place and you're happy I'm gonna insert myself into your life hold on hold on hold on <clears throat> why, why doesn't part of this depend on how they broke up I didn't realise it was an ex situation I thought it was just general but I, okay. no I don't know what, I don't so know what it is because this is isn't this part of this part, partly would have to do with how they broke up i.e. The woman broke up with the man. No, that's I the only. That's the only reason why I can see why he no, might still do all no, this. No, the man will leave a woman and go do his business and then still, still have claim to that woman. That's not, that's not. That's not. I something get. That's I get the claim part. I don't get the comeback when you're living your best life. Uh, you this know what? Is, what, this is what there, there, are, there are some men that actually go out of their way to make women's life miserable. Let's yeah. be, uh, okay. I must be saying D- that we delib- don't know these. deliberately. Yeah. And those we say we don't know these man. There are men out there that are deliberately making their, their woman's life miserable. Deliberately making them depressed, deliberately putting them down, and all of this type of this, stuff. This this will be the case, but let me ask you a question. Obviously, you do not know, so I'm just asking you to guess what you what your uh, an educated guess may be. Okay. Do you think I'm not even going to go on more than half? So it's definitely not more than half. Mm-hmm. So would you say it's like with the fifty percent, the forty percent, the thirty percent, ten percent, five percent? Of one percent. Yeah, I'll say about one percent. So th- so th- this is the thing. Sometimes when things are getting chucked at the fence, of you see what's happening. You know, it's always the extremes that get brought to the light. It's the very, mm. the very positive thing or the very negative thing. Everything in the middle kind of like falls into the background. So yes, there are men that go out of their way to make a woman's life hell. But how many men out of a hundred or a thousand do that? It's going to be very, very few. It's, yeah, but it's a bit like the situation. If you want to match it, I know we shouldn't do tit for tat, but how people talk about um, how certain baby mothers behave with their baby fathers. I was going to say, you have to go tit for tat on that because there's women that do the same thing that will mess up a man's life. If the man is doing good, they'll come back and see what's happening, what's going on. Hey, what are you saying? And be like, I'm cool, what's, what's happening? So you're saying that those are a minority, minority report as well. So as in, there's not a lot of women that do <clears throat> that. The same 1% what we're saying. I mm. would say 
I would say there might be more women that do it than men. Oh, God. See, if, yeah, I, I, don't, see, I, I don't know. Tip for tat, I, I'm going to, all right, so I'll, I'll give you a, a percentage. So I'm just going to make it easier and say, out of 100 men, how many men do you think go out of their way to make a woman's life uh, miserable? 10. So that's 10%. The, okay, you know, you, know, you, you, okay, talk, okay, you, okay, you okay. talked about coming, doing the coming back thing. I'm no, talking, no, 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 mis- making, making your life miserable. Oh, okay, we'll, 10. We'll, we'll go through the list. 10, maybe even 15 out of the 100. Will go out of their way to make women's life miserable. There is some listen. There is men out there that will go out of their way to keep a woman there, especially if they want to keep their woman down, to make them feel like like a bad. Okay, they right. do it. All right, okay. So you feel telling them you look like shit. Blah blah blah. Remember we were talking about it the other day where there's men that will tell their woman you look like shit today. Blah 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 blah. And then the woman be depressed. Yeah, if you want to mention mention that, but yeah, there's I, men. Are, if you're talking about that, I don't think bare man. I don't do think that. for every hundred men I see. 10 to 15 of them You'll be shocked You'll be Go surprised, out of their way bro. Okay this is interesting I would, be I, would, I would be surprised Yeah I'd be very surprised man. So okay if you sp- do, you, do you have a lot of I'm, girlfriends like said, um, Yeah you know how to, I do Okay so have you uh, Have you ever heard These girls talk about men That have done this to them I know you know a couple already That have done Have men like this Abusive men uh, uh, What kind of abuse Are we talking about Because there's a difference Between Mental abuse Mental yeah Mental abuse Mental you can mix it up with physical if you want to, but I'm talking about mentally abusing the person, making them feel like they're uh, they, they're not the best. Sometimes they go missing. Some I don't, of the women I don't, you don't I see don't, them for ages. I don't, I'm not going into physical abuse because I actually think that's something different. Okay, so mental abuse. How many? If you if you got a, a rough estimate of ten girls that you know, how many of them do you think has gone through one man that's given them mental? Okay, abuse? but even then, I still think that's split into two. There is um, neither of them is good, by the way. So I don't want I don't want I don't want this stupid argument. I'm not saying anyone is good, but one comes from a place of just somebody not necessarily consciously doing it. If I don't know if this makes any sense. They're not. They're not, they're not. Huh? No. This is what I just said. It's not good. So there's no excuse. I, I'm not excusing something that's bad. It's bad. So that's the end of it. I, I don't want to have the argument. I, please, no. I don't want to go down these stupid ropes. Bonjour. Yeah? Please, no. Yeah, because it's stupid arguments. I'm saying it's bad, but there are different ways to do bad things. Now, one person. Okay, for instance, I could say something to a woman and upset her. And I, everyone can say, can you not see what you said is upsetting? And everyone can see it. And I say, oh, yeah, it's true, you know. And then I could go out my way to upset that woman by saying that same, the same thing. There's a difference. Whether you like it or not, there's a difference between going out of your way to upset somebody and just upsetting them for other reasons, even if it's the same action. So I'm saying there are men that go out of their way to upset women. I cannot believe that it's 10 to 15%. It must be very few. If you're talking about men that are mentally abusive just because it's, they were mentally abused or they, they, don't have, they have low self-esteem and it, it's just something that just comes out, they're not even consciously doing it, yeah? Then I would say, yeah, maybe that's 10 to 15%. But, mm-hmm. but not people that, go, like, they wake up and it's like, oh, I'm going to make my wife upset today or my missus upset today. I don't, who wakes up and thinks that? Like, I know people do it, but it must be. A, there are some mentally disturbed people. Yeah, yeah, b- yes, yes, but yes. Men- mentally disturbed people are arguably the minority, right? No, you don't think so. We don't. We don't actually know the numbers. No, but then there's there's mentally disturbed. There's clinically mentally disturbed. There's like you might have a mental issue and you don't express it by telling people, "Yeah, men, I've got a mental problem." Yeah, but you but, just act it out. Then there's Liverpool supporters. So, <laughs> but what I'm saying wolf. is, I'm saying I like I, I'm really much about balance. But if you're saying that there are more than we realize, there's still a minority. Because if there weren't, then the world wouldn't be, there would be no sense of order in the world. Well, my number is still a minority, isn't it? It's not a majority. So, yeah? The number I gave was still a minority. It is. Um, it is. I'm, I'm not saying that it's not, but... It's a hefty minority. I'm it, saying it's still 85% normal. There's this 15%, or was it 50%? Yeah, 50%. That, 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 yeah, I think, there's, so so I think there's a lot of men out there that go out of their way to put down their woman. Whether or not you're... I don't know. I, I'm not giving all of this. They, they, I'm not separating them. I'm just saying there's a 15% of man. Is that man in, man in all of man? Or just man in this ge- geographic location? I, I'll say man in... I, I don't know all men. We, I'm, we just, I'm, I'm just going by what I know. In it, what I've noticed. Put it this way. Because we don't know statistics, we can't say yeah, it's so this percentage I'm just about, Okay, I'll say from the... Women I know, so the and man, women I've seen, and women I've heard discussions with, or seen and and seen discussions. I would say, in my head, of a rough estimate, fifteen percent of men go out of their way to cause their woman problem. That's crazy, and come back and cause their woman problem. As so, well. if you think a higher, about it, a higher, higher, higher percentage of men give their woman problem than there are black people in the country, we need to see how much people, it, how many men kill their their, their girlfriends. Yeah, because it can vary. And if, you think, well. if you think about it, between the four of us here, the amount of women that we know. And the amount of women that we know that's had issues with their men because their men's been abusive, mentally abusive to them. 
Yeah. Do, do you ever think yeah. that any woman, okay. anyone have, you here, have any of you men been mentally abused by a, by a woman? Mentally abused by a woman? Yeah. No. You've been in a relationship with them. You sure? Are you sure? I don't, what, describe what you mean by mentally abused. Uh, uh, insults, put you down, make you feel bad. No. This is these are all the these are all the traits of. Uh, I've had in, of, I've had insults from I, I, from females I, in relationships. Because I I, 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 all I'm saying is that I, I don't I don't want to put anybody's business out there. But if I ask the same question to men and they're really honest about it, forget shrugging it off like oh, and I could maybe point an example and you'd be like oh that. And I'm like, yes, that counts. If that, if a man did that to a and woman, can, that would count. It's just because it happened to you and you shrugged it off and it was nothing. Don't it didn't mean that it, it wasn't something. Yeah, it could be fleeting. It'd be like, oh, you don't. Your hair looks rubbish today, or anything like that. Just fleeting. Uh, but it's oh, yeah, still, of course. Then yeah, stuff like yeah. that. It happens all the time. But I just don't think of it as mental abuse. But this is because you're a man. Mm, potentially, what? or what? it could just be it's not consistent. What does that mean? If it's not every day, if yeah. it's not, if it's know, a once in a while thing. Yeah. No, no. So it has, once it has, in a while thing for me is not a, a consistent abu- it's not a mental abuse it's I'm cussing you that, that day I don't because simple you, 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 Rolodex is is and, and off <laughs> un, unlike the actor I'm not saying the odd insult once in a while like maybe you're like a jokey thing because my miss is going to say my hair looks bad I don't count as mental abuse it's somewhere in between what you said and what Wahala is saying about a constant thing it's it's somewhere in the middle so they don't always have to be putting you down but they are putting you down yeah. They, they don't. It's like uh, you're going for a job and they're like, "You ain't gonna get it." I don't think you're gonna get that job. Like, yeah, maybe go for something else. Have you seen no, your? I, I, don't, I don't have, have that. What have you done to update it at the well, moment? It's, I, it could be so many different I don't things. Have, I don't have that type of stuff. Well, you ain't good enough. You ain't good enough. What? Uh, maybe I'm, I'm. I am good enough. That's why they don't have to. <laughs> no, no. Do, do you get this often, Steph? No, he's uh, he's saying that's the comments they're making. Not that you ain't good enough. What's not good enough? I'm saying these are the type of comments that may oh, have, okay. may, no, I don't may, may have man may was ready to fire back you yeah, know, of course like, of what, all what, times you've, what you've come already oh you had that one I was like years <laughs> sorry bro <laughs> see, see that's, your, that's your problem you would have been awake to hear that <laughs> <laughs> uh, what now huh? Huh? hang on though on the kind of on this subject day to the left a little bit uh, did you see that um, Twitter thread uh, a lady put up um, a thread saying that she wanted to do an experiment she was like ladies if men had a curfew um, at 6 p.m., so there was no man out in public uh, um, after 6 p.m., what would you do? And uh, she put that out there. That's an interesting question. It's very interesting. I, I didn't question. see it. No. They'd what, be out what, drinking. What, what, I, saw, what, I saw the question. The I, didn't, I didn't read. Huh? The, the answers surprised me. Like, I actually, I, I want to say I learned something or at least got another perspective on stuff. Yes. To my surprise, yes. a majority of the women. I'm on the edge of my seat. In their answers were yes. saying that they would go out for walks in the evening or they would go out jogging with their headphones on. So simplistic stuff. Yeah, yeah because it's, that's what I was expecting. Yeah. Like, women, I, 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 like, I can just let my head and I do yeah, my thing. They'd, and so, they'd go out and socialize with other women. They'd go out and have a good time. No, I just think they'll, they'll no, go out with, if, if, without fear of them being raped. Yeah, yeah. Or, or being objectified. <laughs> Not, let's not go down the rape road No, always. I'm going Wahala, down there. Wahala no, it's just objectification. I'm talking about being rape. attacked and being raped. That's why women are very scared to run no, in the night. No, it's not even that. It's the more, more, it's more of being objectified, not rape. Just men but what, what's ogling the, What's them. the difference between that and daylight? Because women specifically say, I've, I'm worried about running in the night. Yeah, because if there's no if no man's out after six, they can go out. No, and do I'm talking what they about want. in. I'm talking about before, not about this six o'clock thing. In fact, even the last week, I'm sure that the, one of them from the uh, out the color the box crew actually said the same thing as well. Like I, I don't, I, I don't run. At, I, I don't like running at night because of I'm worried to run at night. Yeah, they, the they didn't say they're running worried about running during the day. Mm. So there's a reason why because they I'm assuming they believe that it's more dangerous to run at night. Well, the freaks come out at night, don't they? Exactly. So um, I think that's probably why. Okay, what other kind of answers were given? <laughs> um, He's the night. There was a couple that were saying that they would go out drinking, um, bar hopping and all that kind of stuff or what have you. And so there was the element of people that just wanted to be able to behave irresponsibly and not have any um, comebacks. That's one thing I would have asked. It, would their behavior change? Would yeah. they be more no. brash, outlandish? What, to each be, other? Yeah, and just drunk and all over the place and whatever, whatever. More more careful of what their response would be from men than other women. Mm, I don't know. I, 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 like I said, I was fascinated by the answers, but then there, there came a point where I was thinking to myself, are these answers the result of 
you know when you can't do something, mm. you say to yourself, man, if I could do that, I would do this, yeah? Because it's not your reality. So it's a, like it's a massive fantasy for you. And then if the actual situation arose, would you actually be happy with that? Okay. The question I ask now is, if it the reverse, yeah, and women were around after 6 p.m. or yeah. whatever, the same thing, as men, what would you do? It makes no difference. That's what I'm thinking. It makes absolutely some no difference. Might, some man might wank a bit more often. <laughs> out in public. Hold on. It's just the oh, men no. are, the, the men are, sorry, the women are at home. It's I, not I, that I they, they don't exist. Women's got their curfew. They've got a curfew. They're just not allowed to be out, not out, out in out. public. Yeah, no, I, 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 I don't actually six. know what they do. Mans would be in their yard. Yeah. They'll go back home again. Mans would be in the yard. That is where mans would be. I don't think they'll go out. Couple man might go out. I link up with the rest of the man. Oh, they might go football. Yeah. They might play sports or something. A oh, bit you more. know what? We just done some hetero, hetero business there. What about the gay guys? What about the gay guys? They'll be out as well, innit? Objectifying men. They don't, <laughs> they don't have the woman problem at all, though. What? Yeah, it don't make no sense. Yeah, but it's me. the same thing that the woman, yeah, the, yeah, the, the woman yeah. asked the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm now having to change the question. Yeah, yeah no, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right, right. So as far as I'm concerned, nothing I, will change. I don't think anything will change. And then man, then man won't worry about the woman in the first place. So and I think, think, and definitely, definitely and I think that's the point. I think that's the point. That's the bigger point. Mm. What's the point? That. The same scenario. Nothing will change for men. Nothing will change for men at all. And then for women, like it's a whole new world's been whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. You know? And I think it might change because men won't have your breath. It gets better. Bro, you can't breathe. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so I like for women it's like I open a whole new world. It was it was interesting to watch the thread unfold. But for men we would have nothing to objectify. After six. We're, well, we're gonna just look at next man. Yeah, yeah. But do you objectify? Like, do you actively objectify? Do you go out and say, "Yeah, tonight, tonight, <laughs> tonight, yeah, tonight. I'm gonna <laughs> check out a four I'm, women's bomb bomb I'm, today." I'm going to objectify I tonight. Pa- I passively objectify. Man, <laughs> oh, look at his face. I passively, object- but hold on. Let's say, for instance, this bowling that we talk about. We used to go bowling every. We week. all objectively. Imagine you going bowling and like, you know no object- women that's gonna be there. Huh? If you, what's that, what's that make any it, difference to me? Of course, I, I, it makes a difference. I went to go bowling. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. So, so when we you go bowling, so we bowling rules going there for, to look at no, women. But you look at women though when you're at bowling. Exactly. No, no, I don't think I do. I don't even remember even seeing any women at bowling. Sometimes you want to say the n word. Yeah. Do you remember seeing yeah. any women at bowling? Is that anything that's prominent in your brain for women going bowling? I'll be honest. I, not really. All right, Stavros. I will speak on behalf of myself. I passively object women. Oh. Day long, yes. But what's I got to do when I'm when I'm by myself, when I'm at bowling, when I'm standing beside my wife, all day long. Yeah, but and not I, only cold when I'm when I'm holding my daughter's hand walking down the street. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but you have to. Come on, you have to understand. He, you said something about bowling. Yeah, we're not saying that we don't passively objectify women. But that's, you, that's my point. No, you said like when you go to bowling, do you, uh, haven't you done it at bowling? And I'm like. Yeah, but he was just giving bowling as an example of us and being out together collectively. We would go bowling somewhere. I, I, I'm, I'm not afraid out. to tell you. I'm a scumbag. So yeah, I, I, yeah, I will. Like, I'm not afraid <laughs> to... A scumbag, you know. I, I, so I have looked and I will look. Let me it's just normal. But yeah. I, what I'm saying to you is it's not like a... It's not like a conscious thing. So if the women weren't there... It's not going to be like, oh man, there's no point in me going out because no, I can't. No, I'm, I'm not saying that. Like, no, saying there's that. no point in going out. But if you were out on road after six o'clock and there's no women, wouldn't you not be like, where's all the women? Yeah, but the, no, because I know they're not meant to be out, innit? Okay. Okay. Right. I will you know ask you. are not meant to be out, but you're like, there's nothing for me to look at. There's no women. That's why we said we'll stay in the house. Can I ask you a question? Go on. Us man's is going bowling with all, all the, all the, all the man yeah? yeah, Ten of us. Yeah. Now, there's two bowling alleys, same price, identical, everything. One of them is just going to be all men. No fights, no beef, no nothing. It's just going to be all men though. And another one is going to be a mix. Now, it's not going to change any difference which one we go to. Now, can I ask which one you would choose to go to and why? I would say retract your question and think about your life. You know which one we're going to. Okay, that's that actor. I I would say, are we going to this bowling as just a chilling out thing or is it a competition? Because if it's a competition, I don't want the bowling alley with the girl. I want the one that's just the man. We then. play and we, we play to win. So if you want to count that as a competition, then that's fine. Yes. Oh, well, that doesn't care. <laughs> and I think you know, all full know, I do not care. Are you going to tell me that I care? Stavros is just going to. Um, okay. Pass, uh, uh, pass on. This is the, why I like. This is why the, sometimes I like Mr. Wolf. Because Mr. Wolf will clearly tell you, out of everyone here, Wahala does not care. 
I'm not going. Mister Wolf doesn't know you as well as I do. I think so, he. Do, I think he, at this point in the moment he must do because okay, simple does. Do you think I would care? Um, no, I don't think you care enough to make a choice. But if there's woman, then you might look. There is no way I'm gonna say I wanna go with it. I don't care. Most time I don't even wanna go out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Don't. I want to stay inside. <laughs> like I'm going out to go look. I'm gonna be big. I'm not. Can you imagine Wahala? You know what I hate about my house? They make fucking windows. I can see outside. <laughs> 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 I don't want to uh, talk about but you man's pick a next question. I, I, I can't talk with this nonsense. Um, <laughs> do you like, really think that I would go out of my way to say, yeah, I'm going to go with the girl? The point is you're not going out of your way. That's the point. It's, it's just it's just an evil or. If the or. choice was there, so, it, which one would you choose? I'm not, I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't care. Okay. I, put, oh, geez, I, I, I don't believe that. Okay. Simple. Sad. I'm sure there's been times when there's probably even been there they're like that and I probably would have picked any one of them. Is there anywhere you want to go to? I don't care. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> interesting one. Um, nice question. If you could know the exact time you're going to die, would you like to know? If you had to choose between knowing how you're going to die and when you're going to die, which would you pick? All right. These are two different questions. Is somebody, somebody asked this question? This is my question, actually. This is something that popped into my head and I thought so it was I, interesting. Well, I don't like this asking questions for you. Sometimes I think we just if you know if you want to say it, you should just say it. After you said what you said, I don't I actually don't want to talk about the the, 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 the that <laughs> I thing anymore. Talk to you after what you said. So, I really I really the, don't I am really surprised that you think that I don't care. Yeah, okay. Because my brother that doesn't okay. All right, whatever. Whatever. Cool. This still okay. It's not even like people have actually said to me there, you're, there's something wrong with your your, with your, your Allah. He doesn't like women. They even said that to me. Yeah, when people say this, I, I think they're chatting rubbish. But because they don't know you as well as I do. Well, would you like to know when you're going to die? No, 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 no. I think we should hash this out. I, I think no, I, don't, I, I, I really no, don't. I, I don't want uh, like literally. I'm saying that I don't believe him, and he's going to say, "Well, uh, this is what I mean. I mean it, and I don't like the fact that you or or I'm." I'm surprised that you you feel I think this way and it's going to go around in a circle because we're not going to change our minds. The, the only reason why I've said to you it depends on whether it's competition or if it's just a chilling thing is because I know that if the mans are there and women are there and we're in a competition mans are going to start misbehaving. The game won't be the same anymore. Exactly, naturally. That's the no, only reason why I asked the we've gone So you're saying women are spoiling things? You sexist bastards. No, I'm saying men around women spoil things. It becomes an ego straight away. Straight away. So hold on. And I've noticed it even within myself. We can't just go and play bowling with women there without... It wasn't with well, the you're ego. saying that we have, to have to, we have to have the women there. No, no but it's even no. ego if we're going and it's just men because we still want to be the, the yeah. alpha male on the yeah, bubble. Yeah, like, you want to win, innit? Now, yeah. you, now you just want to floss when we're not the same time. Like before, you would just get the strike. Now you have to get the strike special. Not me. Loud. Oh, no, not you. But yeah, but but me. I'm gonna run to the woman. You have to get. The, you have to get. The, you have to get the, the strike loud now and make everybody know that you got a strike. Why, why would you want a woman there? Anyway, I don't get it. I just told you I passively object. So you can look at them, but if you've looked at them already, you can still look at them from the other. Oh, I don't get it. What do you, when you say you name, look you, at them you, from the other. Like, you, you, said, you said that they, you can have two two lanes. Yeah. No. One lane with mans. One lane. No. One, one no, bowling no, alleys. No, two bowling. No. You're not listening. Venues. One with men. Oh, of the mix. venue, the whole venue. Yes. 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 Oh, no, I'm going to the one with girls there as well. <laughs> you see what I mean? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 man, it's like, what's it called? The Blue Ocean Club. What is that? What is this man talking about? I told you. We should have hashed it out. I told you. I thought you were talking about there's two different lanes. The lane that you share with one man or the lane that you share with women. What do I care about that? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Why would I care? Because that's not what I said. Oh, okay. And stop shouting. <laughs> no, I'm not going to the Blue Ocean, bro. Whatever they call it, Jeez, Blue man. Lagoon, mate. That's what I said. I know my brother. Okay, fair enough. I didn't, I didn't understand okay, the question. What's this boy talking about? Yeah, yeah, okay. But even me, I didn't want to go to a boy school. I don't want to be around man most times. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's nothing. Why ain't there no women on this podcast? Damn it. <laughs> For real. So, um, <laughs> somebody has complained that we don't have a, a resident woman. We should have a resident. That we're not allowed to be a man. Why? Why should? Why should we why have? Should one? we have a resident woman? Why do we have to have a woman on the podcast? I don't care about you lots of opinions. I want. I don't want to know what. Do you want a woman think. on the podcast to objectify her? Everything. <laughs> so you can passively objectify. Um, not necessarily. Who? Mm-hmm. Who? Whoever said that? Um, we should have a woman on the podcast. We are. 
a group of friends that just started a podcast together. I don't think we need to include somebody for for some sort of uh, sexual balance. Is that because we ain't got no women friends? Can I ask you a question? We have female friends. Some of them, a lot of them, don't want to come. There's a couple just just this week. There's people that have the the people the women that have come onto our podcast minus um, Miss T. How many of them have just been? Well, okay. And Simple Simon bought a friend. Mm-hmm. All That's right, but, but most of them is well. At least I'll say Miss T knows all of us. Simple mm-hmm. Simon bought somebody that, that he knows. Mm. So the ones that we know, I've I've invited women that we all know, and it's when well, you record too late. I don't want to come. Blah, blah, blah. They don't want to come. Your wife. So the ones, uh, my wife doesn't count. Okay, because cool. my wife. Oh, but okay, all right. She's we're, just we're, my wife. My my wife and Miss T. <laughs> my wife doesn't. Yeah. Most count. most of the women that don't want to be on this podcast every week. I don't know, but let me ask you a question. You relate. Well, we got a question. Okay, so let's go to your question. <laughs> 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 but it's, uh, we're rolling. That's what I'm saying. Why would you stop a rolling conversation? Well, go on then. If, because simple Simon, that's, that's why. But go, on. go on. Um, if do you think that you you treat a girls that you find attractive better than the ones you don't? Good question. I was thinking about this the other day, and I realized that I might, but it's not. It's not something that I'm conscious of. Do you think you find it harder to be friend, friend, friendly with an attractive woman, be less just friends than you would with somebody you define, you know is ugly in your head? No, no, no. You think it makes no difference to you? For, for me, that doesn't make a difference. I don't... Which is weird because I, I, I've, I've just admitted to possibly unconsciously treating them differently. But so, you, so you think that you treat differently? No, do. I mean like... I, I don't think it changes the friendship. But you may... You, there may be things you may do differently... Because of the fact that they're better looking, I think so. I'm, I'm not big enough to say that, that that it's not true. I think so. I didn't want to answer this question for fear of retribution, but I'll answer it anyway, and I don't care what the consequences are. Well, I you, you just made it worse by saying all of that. But go ahead, where is it? No, nah, well, it's me, isn't it? Everything. Um, I actively try not to do it. So you to do what? Treat. Oh no! The good looking person better. Oh no! Yeah. So that means you're purposely hard on the good looking people, motherfucker. No, I'm purposely hard on the ugly people. What? No, why? So would you, you, do think that? You, you think you treat the good looking person better. worse? No, I treat the good looking person better. But you just say you try I'm your best hard not to on do the that. Ugly person. Hold right. on, you. Oh, so make up. Hold on, because you said two contradictory things there. You said you actively go out of your way not to treat the good looking women better. No, but then and treat. then you said that you do treat them better. Not to treat the ugly person better than the good looking person. Oh, you, you're fucked. Why? Why would you do that? It's me. I don't know why I do what I do half ten, the time. 10 to 15%? 10 to 15%. Ten to 15%. <laughs> 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 yeah. Everything. Uh, oh, shit. Maybe I am one of those people. Yep, you probably are. Can, I, can I ask why? Why do you go out of your way to treat women that you feel less attractive worse than women you. Because they need to know their place. Oh, my God. God. Damn, 47. That's not 47. That's 49. God nah, nah, damn. I, I, I'm not having that. I can't back that what, shit, bro. What, kind of, what does that even mean, bro? You can't. You're not being serious. I'm assuming you're joking. <laughs> don't say You can't just say things like that. Oh, and nah, open. bro. I was about to draw if, you if, out. If, if, you, if, you, if you are joking, you know there's people that have switched off now. You know, they, they write the tweet I'm down. I'm no longer listening to this podcast. <laughs> I'm offended. One star. Okay, no, bro, you had me going for a second day. Okay, no. well, what? what uh, it, funny, if, and it's in all seriousness, why do you think you do this? I I actually don't know. It's just, it's just. I think we I think we've been programmed to do this. You know, I think if you look at, if you look at all of our society and our social interaction, we have through media through everything pushed what is considered to be the attractive woman to the top of so, yeah attractive to the privilege. higher threshold yeah. uh, attractive privilege attractive pr- privilege and like, I think every uh, and, I'll, I'll, and it happens within each race I will say whatever. every man does it. Whether it's consciously or subconsciously, if there's a pretty woman in the room and there's a not so pretty woman in the room, you tend to give more attention to the pretty woman. Can step mm. us answer the question? Go on then. I actively do the opposite of the actor. Because you want the underdog thing, yeah? I just go out of my way to... We, pull it this way. To make the, pr- make the me, ugly woman wi- feel wife, good. C- wife, because she listens on and off. She don't listen to every episode. If you're listening to this right now, let me give you some advice. If you see your husband in a room full of women and he's ignoring a bunch... Yeah, those are the ones that he likes. <laughs> Simple, yeah. If he's blanking a bunch Makes and sense. being, if he's being really harsh on th- these couple of girls, those are the ones that he thinks is good looking. 
don't want that in your life, bro. I, I go out of my way to how can I put it? Because I don't want to go on like I'm, I'm mean to anybody. But let's put it this way: okay, if, if there's if there's uh, three women in front of me and I feel one of them is gorgeous and the other two are not as pretty as that gorgeous one, then I'll find myself having a conversation or dealing with the women that I don't think are as, as pretty. I'll stay out. I'll, I'll stay away from the pretty one. I will say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. No, all of that bullshit. But I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, all of that bullshit, mate. All, right, right. all of that bullshit. But yeah, we've been programmed to do this. Yeah. We have, like, whether we like it or not, I would agree. Which is, I do. That's my anti-programming. No, like, I, 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 don't, I, would, I don't want that. I don't want that hassle <coughs> in my life. In all honesty, I would do my best to to be more nicer to the less attractive woman. So now you're saying the exact opposite of what you said before. Make I'm up your mind, bro. Nobody shit. knows where you're standing from. You ten to fifteen percent. Admit you're an abuser. That's why I don't like it. I like everybody. Colonizer. Sorry. So simple. You said you would treat the nicer woman or the woman that you feel looks better. Unconsciously, yeah. Probably nicer. The actor now. I, I love I'm, everybody. So everybody, I love you. Because I don't go out of my way to say, "Oh, she's pretty. I'm going to do this for her." But like, it's happened to me before, where, like, even in the most simple of interactions oh there is an interaction where I'll do it too go on go the on. most simple of interactions and I'm talking like I'm waiting to get on the bus yeah, and yeah, there's yeah. a pretty girl see you lot just saying no, 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 nicely no. Go, on, go, on, go on go on go on go on and I will let her get on the bus first and, and then you'll push the ugly one out of the way I'll not push the nah, ugly one out of the way I'm not claiming that example but go on continue so like uh, I'll let all women get on the bus exactly, first exactly so I, I, I don't get this one standardly but if there is a You'd be more hesitant to do it for the ugly. There one. you go, hesitant. That's the word I was looking. Would you for. really have man's just just sugarcoating the words? I'm not sugarcoating I just the words. Kept it real. You it wasn't sugar. It was cinnamon. <laughs> Bitches. Whole, whole tap cinnamon. Coated. <laughs> whole tap cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> we cinnamon called our bitchness with essence of sheer. So, Wala, well, you haven't answered your own question. Uh, I think I'm a bit more like you. So, I don't think I treat. Um, I don't. Do you know, this is going to sound so egotistical, yeah? Egotistical. Egotistical. I think that if I start chatting to any girl. Oh, God. Any girl. They're automatically beautiful. No. Swear for no, 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 no. I think I can strike up some form of rapport with that girl. So it could be like, they'll like me for being funny or they'll think I'm a nice guy or blah, 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 blah. If I actually got out of my way to talk to that person. Like if I got out of my way to talk to you, we will find some form of jokes There'll be some form of rapport. Not necessarily that you will like me, as a, like me, like me, but I will think I would leave you with an impression. Yeah? Okay. Right? So, like Stav, because I don't even want to leave you with anything, I just want to talk to you at all. Okay. So, I, I just do it with all women. Ugly, good looking, whatever. Right? I'm just not going to talk to you at all. Right? That's how I, I would do my day-to-day dealings. Would I treat anyone different than the other subconsciously I don't know I don't actually know but I just know that as all women I got out of my way to talk to them like there's women in the gym that I see every day and they smile on their head nod at me and I got out of my way to blank them all because I don't even want to strike up any <laughs> any discussion or rapport or anything with them just in case because I'm going to see them on a day to day basis the only people I may do I may have that rapport with or, or strike up anything with is people are women, are women I work with because I have to work with them so are you fearful of any form of f- ship friendship so I just don't you, want anything any I just don't want any I don't want to have to tell somebody that's not what, that's not what it is does that make sense can, can, I, can I be real any, anyone can cheat I believe anyone, everyone has the potential to cheat yeah nobody now I don't want to cheat so I'm pretty similar to what Wala said I believe that um, it's my nature to I, I'm a flirt for one yeah so my wife knows this I'm a flirt and it's my nature to put on some sort of Peacock kind of thing. You know what? Yeah. I was speaking in my house. I said, it's fucking when, peacock. When, I, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm talking to a woman, it's like, it's... it's Slut your weave. It's, it's nature. Spirit fingers. So I kind of go out of my way to not talk to somebody that if, if they ever tried it on me, that I would have to be like, it's... it's, it's peacock. I'm going gonna, gonna, I'm gonna to say no, yeah? It doesn't matter whether you're beautiful or ugly, but it's a lot easier if you're ugly, isn't it? So I don't want to put myself. Just don't. This is why when people say, oh, "I can't, I can't," I find it hard to not cheat. And I'm thinking, just don't put yourself in that position. Stay away from women that you might cheat with. Just stay away from them, innit? The hardest time to stay away from people that you can't cheat to, to women that you might cheat with is probably be out somewhere like work. 
Which is you, which you is why that. maybe a lot of affairs happen at work. Yeah, because you see that person, you strike up a rapport with that I've person. I've never worked with. Yeah, think about that. I've never worked with good looking people, so I'm. Right. I think there was once there was only one good looking woman at one of my workplaces. Only one in the, all the time I've been working. Mm. I've been labouring a damn near 15 plus years fact, now. Let me not say good looking because they'll be good looking to someone. I don't find them attractive. That's, so sorry, that's, the, that's the better term. That's the better term. I so, don't find them attractive. And, then, and, and even if there are attractive people in some of my workplaces I've been, they don't work with me or around mm. me. They'll just be somebody that works somewhere in, in the office maybe or something like that. So I, 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 Work is different though. So I, I've worked, no, it's the reason I say it's different. It's, I say it's different because yes, you, you have to be around them. Yeah, so but I've, then you can strike up conversations. You'll find somebody that is like, you know what, this person really gets me. And you see them more than you see your own missus at times. So then you, it can get to a point where- Be yeah, strong, well, be strong. No, you can be like, I get to a point where, yeah, well, so-and-so at work will not treat me the way that you're treating me. Oh man, I see I'm just as much as I see you. Grass is always greener. That's what they say. Yeah. So you start dealing with them and then suddenly they turn to exactly. one crazy person. But yeah. Yeah. that's why a lot of you said a lot of affairs happen at work because you spend more time with them than you do with anyone else. See, I'd say like Stav, I'm a massive flirt. And I I flirt with everybody and anybody. Whore. Of the female <coughs> persuasion. Whore. Whore. Yeah. It's top just, slag. just about to call you pansexual, but carry on. Top slag, top slag. <laughs> but again, it's, it, you do have to find the balance. You do have to have a restraint and no all right, I can't say too much and I can't go too far because you never know what you're saying, how it affects that person you're flirting with. Bro. Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. So what I'm gathering from what you <coughs> mans have just said, yeah? We're yeah. legends. You're basically just saying yes. that you're going against your nature. That's what you've literally just said, all three of you. Yeah, we pull restraint. We, pull restraint. We, put a, we have to put a cap on it. No, how how what, how am I saying that? Because you're saying that you just won't talk to the person, so you don't have to get into. So you're going against your nature. But to talk to the people. But yeah, because your nature is to talk to people. No, not necessarily. Because you know, I don't really go out of my way to talk to people anyway. It's not something I, I have to do. Yeah, but, you're, but I'm saying that you're, if I do do it, con- I know I know what's going to happen. Yeah, so you're consciously not doing it. So you're going against your nature. Oh, I know what's going to happen. By definition, <laughs> yeah, as, as humans, <laughs> she's going to we, for we, me. It, we can't just be singular. We have to be. Yeah, but I don't want to talk to new take, people. Take your in hands general. away from me. So it's, even even with men, I don't want to talk to new men in general. It's got nothing to do with. Thing. I don't want to talk to new. But I know that if I talk to, or I, I think like if I get into conversation with a, a new person, woman. There'll be our report. No, as I said, it doesn't have to even be sexual. It doesn't have to be a relationship thing. It doesn't have to be any of that type of thing. I just think I'll leave you with an impression. Is that why you say you don't like to go out because you don't want to have to be put into that position? No, I don't like going out because I've, I've got this thing now where I don't like too many people around me. I, it's like I've got fear of what's going to happen. Mm. So I don't like being out so much. It's like, I, I, if I know, it's almost got to a point now. If I know that I'm going somewhere where there's lots of people, it's like I'm panicking. Like, what's, what's going to happen now? I'm, like I go into the places. The first thing I'm looking at is the fire escapes. And what's what's the reverse of claustrophobia? Um, I can't remember the term. Just fear of open spaces. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan of people, man. I just I'm happy. I'm, I like to be people that I know. I got. I, it's maybe it's my control freak thing. If I'm with people that I know, how I, I believe they're gonna behave, it will make it easier for me to go through my day. Does that make sense? Rather than knowing there's too many people, too many different variables around me. What so you, so what you're saying? How did you cope with the concert? That's what I'm saying. What you're saying now, you did your, you did your, your missus a, a real solid by going to that concert. Then no, the concert was uh, the thing about the concert is I can focus on one thing. Yeah. But yeah, around all I'm doing at the concert is thinking, who's what's this person doing next to me now? What is he going to do? How am I going to have to do something to this guy? Am I is this to... when we were talking about needing therapy? Are you sure this doesn't come under that bracket? Bro? <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, I, I can't go outside and I don't want to be around different people. This sounds like I, the type of no, thing somebody's think, going to no, be sitting on a chair. To, to, to be honest, I have something similar where I don't I don't like crowds so much anymore, yeah. and that's because I I can't vouch for what people are going to do. Man, That's yeah. what I just said. And, yeah, and also, but also, it's also because of where we've gone and where we are in society now. Is this some ghetto uh, PTSD business? Not no, because it's if you think about what's gone on in in events, people just letting like off shots, bombs and go, driving. Yeah. Things like that. I mean, you're not worried about stuff like that, are you? Well, I, I am. I mean, back in your mind, kind of bit, like I go in and I, I survey the area because mm. you know that's that's what you do. That's normal. But that's that's the survey area. Isn't it? No, like, so, so, so look over the course survey, of time, it's yeah. begotten, it's become more and more. What and I've more learned, prominent. What I've learned, surveying the area well, is normal. Check for, out if there's any Muslims around. Oh my I'm god! I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Yeah. Yeah. No, so, Mubarak, so, my guy. Check out for backpack Muslims. <laughs> so so, so surveying the area is a very hood mentality thing to do. This yeah. is what I've come to know. Yeah, and I've only come to know this because of like the different people that are, different circles that I've been in from like work and other people that have grown up in different mm. so like I think somebody noticed one time like why do you always 
have a wall behind you whenever you're in yeah, somewhere. Man. And I'm like, sure that's you see just the door. how we do, innit? Listen, like, when the ghetto man's going to a restaurant, why is it everybody's fighting for the one where their back is on the wall yeah. and they can see everything? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Everybody knows why they want to sit at that, that part of the table. That's mentality. That's bro. normal for me. You, you have them you affluent... Yeah, you live. You have them people that live them blessed lives and they walk into situations like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thinking, bro, exactly. <laughs> but then you realise that happens to them. You want to sit in the corner, you don't want to sit next to the window. Exactly. All of them certain There's things. all them kind of certain things. But well, this is why I said hood PTSD. Yeah. It's because it's, it's, it's a situation where because you've been through things, because you've seen things, because you've heard things, now you have some sort of post-traumatic uh, syndrome. Uh, and and he's probably right, you know. Yeah. In a way, he's yeah. right. But there's certain things that come with maybe, I think some things come with age as well. And maybe even more sense. Like before, I had no issue going on roller coasters. Now I'm like, why am I getting on a roller coaster for? Okay. I'm, I'm like, why am I doing that? Why am I putting my life at risk for? Okay. It makes no sense to me. Why okay. am I doing that? Okay, okay. So this one, I had this one as well, yeah? Where I wouldn't, there was a time where I was like, this roller coaster thing, why would you, why would somebody do that? It doesn't make sense to me. And then one year I said, you know what? This f- feels like an excuse for fear. So I said, nope, not having it. So I went to all of the major amusement parks, all in the same year. And went on all of the rides. And then I got to a point where I was actually sitting on the front of the roller coaster rides. Yeah. To let, let the fear know that it was completely not going to have me at all. I did that for a whole season. Haven't been on another roller coaster since. But for the same reason that you're saying, I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, there's having fun. But then this here is dangerous. Yeah. I don't understand the point of me doing it. Because right, when it goes wrong, people die. Yeah. Why or am I get, why am I get I'm, amputated? Why am I putting myself in a position where I could die for no reason? It makes no sense to me. Now, stuff like that is now becoming more... Because it's fun. Yeah, but it's, but it's almost the same thing with, with the raving. Like, why am I going to go to a rave or go to these events with all these people that I do not know the variables of how they're going to behave? Yeah, but there was never a fear factor in raves before. Yes, it was. Yes, not, it as was. Much, not, as, not as much as always. it is now. Always. I don't think it's... I think it's less people are going to get shot or things in the raves now than it was when we was... Always. Mm. I, I've never been to... What's that club in, in um, Clapton? What's it? What's the what was the club called under? It's not Visions. Pegasus. Man. Pegasus. I never. I've never been. There was two of them. There was. They were next door. Dougies. Dougies. I've never been to any, any of those two places. Pegasus or Dougies. I've never been to any of those two places. Those are the only two. Places, so many names, man. Those are the only two places that my dad said I'm not allowed to and go into. Palace for <laughs> Pavilion. Yeah, so, yeah. Visions was um, Dawson, isn't it? Yeah, the Visions, visions was Dawson. Was sorry, Dawson. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He told to me to be careful of Visions, but he said to me, "Don't go to Pal- um to Palace, Palace Pavilion. Pavilion and Pegasus." What did they call it before? Never Palace ever Pavilion. been in them two venues for the same reason. Duggies. Yeah, I think it was Duggies. Because okay. there's a bare gunman in their place. Exactly. It's, I, I feel it's less uh, problematic now. I think so as well. I don't I, think I, back in the day, people would get in with the guns. Yeah. No, I don't and think... CS gas was a standard, standard thing. No, no I, don't think we, I, don't we, think, we, I don't think we were as fearful then. No, we weren't as fearful. We were younger. But, but things happened more then. Put it this way. No, let me not go into no stories. But I just think it was... It, it, more stuff happened back then, I think. I, I, don't, think, I don't know. I, I, I think don't, we I don't were know. younger. We was more reckless... And it didn't matter. I the think the older you get, the more responsible you become and mm. the more you look at things and be like, why would I put myself in that position? Why would I do that? And I think, as, as I was saying, some of us do have this ghetto PTSD. And I think it's something that we, it's a good topic that we're chatting about now because I, 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 maybe it is the reason why I, I, I'm surveying the areas. Maybe it is the reason why I, um, certain guys can't go out and feel at ease with themselves. Man don't, go out, man don't go out and feel at ease. All these young youths that's going out on a day-to-day basis I don't know how they're doing it because I can't see them feeling that ease if they think the man's going to shake them every five, five minutes. Do you want to know something that's um, so interesting? The, the other people that do this stuff as normal, like looking for exits and all that kind of stuff, are like mercenaries and... Military and, man. And military man. That's what they're saying. That's what we all... We all we live in a war we don't even know we're in. Yeah, we got that military mentality. Yeah, now. them people that come back from war, they say, oh, we all went out for a drink. But whilst everybody's walking around, I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking around and it's like, why is everybody not paying attention to what's going on around mm-hmm. them? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you just come from war, Negro. Both. And the thing is... is I think what makes it worse as well is that I've had it confirmed that what I'm doing is working because there's been more than one occasion where I've been somewhere and you've done it as well where we've, we've been to somewhere together and one of us has gone to the other one yo let's move because it's about to go off yeah or yeah these men look like they're going to do something let's move yeah that, that has happened so many times and we've moved and what's happened afterwards yes even then, even that same night when um my man was um, someone got shot at or whatever or he dropped his gun remember that night when we was in um, South South yeah, on yeah, the yeah. London Bridge or whatever mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. I swear it was I think it was you you were like come on now it's time for us to go 
There's no reason for us to be standing there. It's now time for us to go. We got in the car and then that thing happened afterwards. But I was standing outside when, yeah, they, when the shots were fired, boy. And those girls running. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> Foolish girls. But anyway, I, was, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I, I've got, I've, so, uh, yeah, I, I've got a fear of, 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 of outside. I've got a fear of people. I've got, I don't want to talk to people. I don't want to make new friends. Yeah, I'll pick it is. When we were walking in the concert yesterday, I was looking at the areas there. For some reason, I said, it's going to pop off. And I looked around and I said, all right, this is the area I'm going to pull my wife and we're going to stand here whilst everyone is running. Mm. That, that was it. There was a bit when we, when we were leaving and I just thought, it's going to pop off now. And then I surveyed the area. I saw one door. There's a security standing there and I, I'm just going to have to push the security out of the way. I'm, that was it for me, no, man. It's normal like normal behavior. Spider sense was just no, going up in my head. It's yeah. normal behavior. But do you think that people that don't, don't come from from ghetto, do you think they they think like this? They don't. I know they don't. And this is the, what, what I'm saying that we're living on a disadvantage. We're not living to enjoy it anymore. We're living to to survive. To survive. Nah, 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 because I still don't have as much as what you said. I don't want to go out for different reasons than you. I don't have the same reasons you're going out. So yeah, there could be masses, but that's not going to stop me from doing. No, I, no, that's that's one of my reasons. But one of the reasons I just don't find it funny anymore. Yeah, uh, yeah. If but, I don't, if I don't enjoy not, something, that's cool. But I don't include. Oh, but it could be dangerous. I just don't include no, because anything case, could be dangerous. It's not a case of being dangerous. I just can't. I don't. I don't like. I told you, I'm a control freak, as you say. Yeah, man. What's so I don't weird? Like being in control. What's so weird is when we go on holiday, all of the stuff doesn't matter. Have you noticed that? No, 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 I'm no, bit, no, I'm, no, no. I'm worse. Than I am having. much more vigilant on it because I know. No, when, when I say no, not the vigilance. The actual going out. In, well, because you're yeah, in a completely different country, man. What are you gonna do? Uh, the reason I don't rave or go out here, because I, I, I don't rave because it's either. Because it's not, it's not go out. It's because I like going bowling. I like going to dinners. I like there's other things in there I want to, but I'm gonna include raving. That's the important thing for me. Now, when I'm local, I've raved hard, so I don't need to do that anymore. I've been through. I've done it. When I go overseas, yes, when we went to Brazil for my stag, we went to rave, and I'm not the biggest raver even overseas. But I want to see what it's like to rave in a Brazilian club. I don't want to go all the way to Brazil, be there for a week or two weeks, and not rave. If 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 I'm with the boys, when I'm with the missus, maybe I don't want to rave. But when I'm with the boys, of course I want to see what a rave looks like because I haven't done it before. Once I've touched, once I've touched it once, maybe, maybe once I've done a couple of raves, it's like okay. Hola, but have you noticed? Everywhere you go, anyway, it's the same thing, anyways. Yep. It's, it doesn't yeah. matter, it doesn't matter which country you go. Reggaeton. <laughs> Reggaeton is the biggest shoes every day they play with. It. Same thing. You got you got the the fancy clubs where you you know what the fancy clubs in it where the, yep. where you just you, you know them. You got the hood clubs where you know them as well. Probably fitting more bit well in the hood clubs to be honest. With you. Well, not even probably I'll do because them clubs where you have to pose. It's, it's, it's not. not it's me. not for us, man. It's not for me so at I, all. So yeah, man. I I think that we need to. Um, Boy, I don't know how we got to this question. We got here, but hood PTSD because but, you took it there. You always take it there. Did I? It was yes. We were asking a question about wanting to know how to die, and then you took it to. Well, this is I that, think that's I even think more hood PTSD. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going die tomorrow. <laughs> Does it? I don't know. I don't know when. I, so the question was. Let's go. Let's go to that question. So you're saying that we, what was the question? Do you want to know when you're gonna die, or do you want to know how you're gonna die? Both. Yeah. That's both, both. The questions. Okay, so I well, don't. One question is: Would you want to know? And then the second question is, if you had to know one of the two, would you want to know how or when? I would prefer to know how than when. All right, let, let everyone answer that one quickly then. No, that, that I don't want to know at all. Yeah, but that's because it, inspi- it inspires paranoia. Yep. Yeah. Standardly. Straight away. Not if you know when. No. If you know you're not going to die until, um, you know, the 2000 and, and 100, 2100. And you're gonna die on the January the first twenty one. But then you're gonna wonder why how you die. Exactly. But what's is the point in worrying about it if that's, that's the day you're gonna die? Immediate well, next question. Why about it on that day? No, but then then you start asking yourself, okay, so if I'm gonna die on that day, does that mean that if I jump out in front of this car, it's not gonna kill me? Hmm. No. It, it, okay. No, I say any any way that you try to self harm, you can kill yourself. Okay. So yeah, you're adding variables. That's yeah, what but then also well, it's my question, so I can add variables. Thank but right. also you think. All right, what time on that day am I gonna die? Yeah, you can. You can nah, wonder yeah, what you want. Well, that's long, man. I, yeah. don't, I don't want to know. That's the day, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's only twenty four hours. So you prefer to know how? No, I don't want to know anything. You have to know one. You got to. If you got to choose one of the two, you oh, have to know deep, how man, or deep. when. It's deep. So I, while you said when or how? I said how. How? Okay. Oh fuck me, man. Um, oh, come on. Yeah, give me the when, bro. Give me the when. You want to know when? Give me the when. Yeah, I'd rather know the how. I want to know how. Two hows and a when. Do you know why I want to rather know the how than the when? Because if I know the when, I'm going to end up telling p- close people to, to me and that's going to be on their mind. So I'd rather just know the how. I don't I mean, want to tell my missus I'm going to die in four days' time. I don't want to do that. Yeah, but then you might still tell your missus I'm going to die like this. Yeah, I might tell her that. And then she's going to be worried about... Can you imagine if it was her? Look at this. Apparently you won't kill me. I keep having this dream I'm going to die in a car accident. She's not going to want you to drive. 
She's not going to want you to get in the car. I don't get which one of the incidents you can tell people close to you and it's not going to bother them. I ain't yeah, telling nobody yeah, nothing. Yeah. I'd want to know how and I'll keep it to myself. What are you telling people for? You, what, so what, what are you saying, You're going to end up telling someone. What are you saying, stuff? Nah. I, I don't know, you know. I don't know. Um, Any responsible parent would say when? As a parent? Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> but I guess it makes sense because you want to get your affairs in order. Okay. Unless, unless the how involves the parent, the child. Your kid's gonna kill you. Imagine if your child. Imagine no? if you. Saw no, no. If it, you, could, you could say you could say that I was. You could call it a car crash, and it could be four of you in a car crash. Yeah. God damn, forty-seven. But then, then, but, but then do you, want, do you want to know free, that as well? Free survive. Do you, you want to know that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't know. The question in itself is morbid enough. You then went on to add more death. No, but he's got a good point. He's got a good point. I don't like I don't know why you put this question in, the, in my life you in the went, first place. You went to final destination. <laughs> I don't no, know why you put this question If it's not more death, it's rape. You must make things worse. Than it, you must always make things worse. <laughs> he's, a, he, he's a good question. What are you saying then? Um, okay, I'll go with what he's, he, he mentioned and say, because I'm a dad and I want to get my affairs in order, I'll just say... Um, when? When. So there's no point in asking the question, would you want to know when to die? Because it seems like everybody was saying no. I've got life insurance, so my message is sorted. So I, I, it doesn't make the when doesn't matter. Okay, so mm. Wahala doesn't, wouldn't want to know? Simple Simon? Clearly you wouldn't want to know. I feel like every day is my last anyway. I find it very difficult to plan for beyond tomorrow. Do you think about death though? Yeah, that's all good and proper. But I, think, about, I think about death all the time. I don't. I. You know that... You know that, that um, What's that thing called? You know that, what do they call it? This idea or the saying that if you shouldn't ever die in your dreams because you die in real life. Have you ever heard that before? Not outside of a horror film, no. Yeah. Yeah, not outside of Friday the 13th. Or okay. Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay, so I know some people that like, like old people that say it. Oh yeah, if you shouldn't, shouldn't ever like die in your sleep if you're if you're if you're dreaming and it seems like you're gonna die you should you should, you should wake, wake up. up that's an obvious thing bro. and the same as the other one where they say um if uh-huh. you dream about someone who's dead and they tell you to follow them you shouldn't follow them <laughs> I don't know where you never heard that one before ever no. no. yeah i've no. heard that one i've heard them ones but bro. can, can, I, I, can I ask well? if what if campfires you dream have about you been around being dead do you die there and then or is it like there's a week no no you die dead? like you don't wake up basically so then how would anyone ever know it's true what this is what I'm about to tell you. I'm about I'm a, because I'm, everyone is happy to his dad. So you, 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 can, you can say, well, I this is what happens. I don't know. They didn't have books back then. But I'm saying, like, I've died many times in my dreams. So therefore, it's rightly it's, so. It's, it's, it's not. So, it's not so rightly so. Wow. <laughs> so why? So then it's your business because you're still here. Yeah, I know. It's bullshit, isn't it? But yeah. let me ask you a question. So yeah, I, I, want, I want simple to answer f- the last question. What was the last question? Say again. Sorry, what was it? Yeah, because would you want to know when you die? Would I want to know when I die? Yes. Yeah, why not? So why was it so hard to answer the last question then? What do you mean? But the difference between when and, and how? Yeah, my, my answers come easy on the, as a result of the, f- the question before. That actor? Someone that's faced death many times? Nah. You don't want to know? It's coming, it's coming. I don't want to know. I've nearly died a couple of times. Mm. I've like, genuinely nearly died a couple of times. Oh. Um, remember that car, time when I rolled my car over? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There was you that. rolled your car but, over? Bruv, when I said that this man... Is moving Jesus ways, bro. <laughs> Jesus walks. He should be dead. If you saw that car, this man, he had no scratches, nothing. He should be dead. That's why I'm saying. He should have bought that car and and made it a plaque and put it on his wall. Because <laughs> that car, I would have saved his life in some way. He needs to go to Peugeot and you need to praise them. Like, you need to go to them, bow down to them and say, thank God. Because that car was destroyed. Why do I just want to talk about car accidents now? I remember the time <laughs> that you, was it the car was on fire? Was the car on fire? Yeah, in Dawson. Uh, what's the name of that road in Dawson? Um, it wasn't on fire. Sh- Shackle, yes, it was. No, no, off the junction. The the, the big cross cross Dawson road. Lane. Oh, no, the one where he flipped the car. Same Paul's Pond. Same Paul's Pond Road. Paul's Pond Road. Yeah. Was I, it on I've fire? still got a video. What's his name? Your bedroom was there. Marvin. Yeah. Was it on fire? Yes. I don't even remember it being on fire. The engine was on fire, but I recorded it. Instead oh, of wow. running away from the engine, I was dead. So, so. The engine's on fire. Yeah, because you would have crashed into the barriers. Yeah. Why are you beating him up, man? Man's bait up the road. 
The timing <laughs> barrier. Oh, this is like ten years ago. This is more than There's no ago. statute of limitations in the UK. I don't it, think was, it was like this was like the first camera phones. I'm talking Nokia. Like, so you're giving yeah. yeah. raging now the so age range. Even Nokia, it was like, it was this, like stop Sony this Erickson. snitching. I told you snitch. I told you stab it a snake in her. Stab it a proper snake. It's not wet snitching at least. It's dry snitching. Shit, can man. Dry Holy shit, I can't. man. I don't know, man. You had your brother, man. Like crushing cars. For me, it's true. It's true. It's true. Man is snitching on the dead as well. Trust me. Were, trust me. But it's, I don't know. For me, the dying thing is not necessarily the, the thing. It's, I, I've started to think about dying and not uh, not doing anything great. Not leaving a legacy. Just not doing anything great. I have asked the question, what will I be remembered for? All right, we'll make that the last black. question then. So this this question about dying and legacy and greatness. <laughs> that's the, that's my problem. Like, I, don't, I can't really know. So that's why I have to write this book. So at least... At least the internet will remember, man. You know what I hear that. I hear that. I think, I, in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll steal that. I want to write something before I die. Do you think every man has to do something impactful in, in, I, a, in I, their life? I think, I think that is part of the purpose of your life, you know? I think every man thinks that. Do you think that that's why certain people, when they commit suicide, they do it in a very um, out, outlandish, of not course. outlandish way to, to make sure they left the mark? Of course. Like of course, uh, I don't think they're thinking. So people that, that jump over, uh, jump over a bridge, and uh, no, because if you if you say, oh, do you remember, do you remember, do you remember Johnny or remember Tommy? Uh, I don't, I don't. Tommy that jumped off the bridge. Nah, yeah, I don't yeah, think. So. No, no, I, I would say yes. I would think people are thinking about. No, uh, Stav, Stav, I would say yes. Think about this way, yeah. Let's look at it from another point of view. Let's say that in your life you feel invisible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in mm-hmm. that. People know that you're there. People talk to you like you're there. But at the same time, you don't really feel like a intricate part of any componentry. Mm. Yeah? Like, if I was to die right now, no one would miss me anyway. Okay. You go and kill yourself in an extravagant way. Um, whether you like it or not, you're going to make... Your, the idea is you'll make the news. And as long as you've made the news, that's it. You become part of the archive. Is that the ones that do the killing, the killing suicides? Where yeah. Where they go and kill people knowing that the police are going to kill them? Yeah. So they can have that legacy of being a, that I mean, that's a mental that's a mental I mean they're all kind of like mental health problems white. but killing someone <laughs> and then hoping that what did he say he said <laughs> white uh, killing killing people and then wanting to get shot by the police that's that's a different that's a different kind of mental thing that's a that's a psycho mental thing as opposed to that's just, a psycho me- well yes mental. because no because there's, men, there's, there's a mental health issue a where, you're, you're, where you're depressed and it's like I'm depressed and I want to kill myself as opposed to, I want to take people out as well. That's a, that's a psychotic. That's I'm sorry, not psychotic. That's psycho in that whatever that that terminology. Because psychotic is a different thing. I think. Anyways, um, that boy needs therapy. Legacy, legacy is a, it's, it's a good thing. Do you see your children as legacy, or do you, is it more than that? No, it's it's more than because for me, like the only way that your children are your legacy is if they know if whoever it is who knows them knows you. Does that make sense? Like on their own. Nah, are their legacy just being born? No, but... You've left something of yourself here. Yeah, that's an extension of you. By the definition of legacy, yes. But I think we we mean it like in more of a... Like leaving something. something. More than just I've left something behind. I left some DNA behind. Look, well, it depends. If, look you, at it, if, look you, at it if you just have the you and you leave and bounce and there's no no connection at all, maybe you might not see it as a legacy. But... If that person's mannerisms are yours, everything is yours, they behave like you, they talk like you, you taught them this, you did that. That's, that's you leaving a legacy on the world. That's you leaving your, your imprint on that world. Even, yeah. even, even if it's just in that, you know, very close. Like my thing is this, a hundred years in the future, will my, what they going to say about you? Yeah. Do you, you, you want to be remembered by the, do you want to be remembered by the masses? I, Stavros Boss of Hackney, Via Lagos, Nigeria, want to be remembered as being the spearhead of the natural hair movement in London <laughs> in the two thousands. Uh, that's yeah. no, no. As as badly as some people say, I go about it. That is something that is near and dear to my heart. I want black women to want to embrace their natural, beautiful hair, and that is why I go on, on about it. So that's one of the things. That's one of the things that, for some reason, I, I don't can actually know else? why. I don't, huh? Is there anything else? What do you mean? Is there anything else that you want to leave in the world? Or is it I said I want a book. I, I want to write a book about me. Maybe. Or maybe a book. Or maybe you think a, a book about you would be interesting? To uh, somebody? Yeah. Okay. You know the, the stories I've written in um, on Facebook mm-hmm. about 
the day uh, our brother passed about where um what other stories the, the stories the story the day that time I had a birthday and I was upset and remember it was a soul solid rave in the oceans cooking yeah. so I wrote these little stories and they seem to get people were quite you know they seem to be receptive of it I think I'm going to write a book where it's the snippets of stories that because my life is not necessarily interesting but I've had interesting episodes do you still think you need to write a book my memoirs I, don't, I never needed to you need to write a book well if not but even to because to be honest this podcast is that isn't it this is the legacy yay there you go you've answered it this this is going to remain on the internet forever this is the legacy so I'm going to be oh, remembered for some swearing and shit I don't know about forever <laughs> yeah until somebody doesn't pay the bills or whatever, you know, companies go down. <laughs> <or something. laughs> Let me ask you a question. Until the internet gets broken, if they took our podcast, yes, put it in a capsule and sent it out into space, and it went to another life form, mm. do you think it would be a good representation? No, 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 it's not of human beings or of of us individuals of the hood. <laughs> no, None. would it be a it's, good representation of the hood? I don't think we we cross reference any any. Anything we are our own, are we good representations group. of the hood though? No. no, then there you go. Well, even when we had mead and all that, and no, everything. No, no, no. I think what we are is very similar, all of us are the same, so we're similar and different, yeah. I don't but very, si- I think we're similar enough to not have, and we don't have. I don't think we have more differences than we have similarities. This is why I want a woman on there. I think the question would be, would so we, you want a woman too? I want a woman, would we be a good representation of black males? Oh, shit. no, we wouldn't. <laughs> I, I, I am. Speak for yourself, Stavros is. When you say good representation, do you mean of of the people out there, or just good as in yeah. these are good black men? These are good black men. I think no. Of course yes. I am. And of black men in general. I don't know about black men in general, no. but for us, if they were to say, do you, do you, looking at these five guys, are they a good black men? Well, so no, would no, you no, not, not, not that. Would you not say you're re- a representative of black men in general? You might be because you're not as good as me. Oh my God! So you're not a representative Bonjour. of black men in general. I don't think so. you're I, just a representative of you black. I, if somebody looks at me, is this a good black person? I would say yes. Me? Are you like are every you other a good black, black like, man? Yes. So are you good representative of black men? I don't know because I don't think I. I don't know. I don't think we keep going on all the all the time every week on this podcast. They're not like us. Oh, men do this. Women are complaining. We ain't like that. Oh, men do this. We ain't like that. Men shoot. Not we ain't men. like that. It's like yeah, not all men. So it gets to the point where if I keep saying I'm not like all these other black men, then I ain't like all these other black men. I can't. I can't. I can't claim them and and push them back at the same time. So were you the best of black men? No, 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 no. I just have enough decent traits where I can say. I can look in the mirror and say, I'm a, I'm a good man, full stop. Yeah, you can and, look I, at and, I, and I just so I'm happen to be black. Man. Yeah, exactly. And I just so happen to be black. So if you look at me and say, is this a good black man? I'm I would say man. yes. I would be in that category. If you're religious, you know, God said there's th- no such thing as a good man, but I ain't religious. Do you think that if you were to ask 50 women that know you, of all shades? Me? If you was a good black man? Yes. You think, how many, yes. how many would say out of them? 50? Most of them. The only ones that, that would... Give me a number. Out of 50. 45. 45. So five will say that you're scum. Five will... Why five would they have to say scum? I don't know what they're going to say, but they're not, they're not going to be happy with me. And it will be for one incident. It won't be because they know... It will be because of something. Not because of who, all the other things. They would have picked something that they don't like about me or that in a way that I've hurt them or something. And that's why Stafford is not a good person. Simple. And they'll focus on that. Hmm? Sorry? And they'll focus on that. Yeah. Maybe. Well, um, that, that's, that's the thing. They'll say, this is why he's not a good person because of this. Simple. Hmm? What, they, what would they say about you? 50 women. I like 100 better than 50, but 50 women. Yeah. 50 women, and, what, and how many would say I'm a good man? You're a good man. Fuck. Um, do, do, do. I don't even, I don't even think I've... Brother, take it too long. Come on, give me a number. I don't say you don't know 50 women. <laughs> yes. Don't say that. <laughs> ah! Um, Whore. <laughs> <laughs> of Babylon. God damn. Um, maybe 45. Maybe. I'm very much misunderstood a lot of times. If, if you're very much misunderstood, then you would be a bad person. No. Because if most of the vast majority of the people are saying you're good and you're very much misunderstood, then they will misunderstand you as being a good person. No, I, what I'm saying is, it doesn't, then, it doesn't have to be that way around. But it then you'd have to question around. the mental state of those women. Uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> you're a dickhead. <laughs> that actor... How many would say I'm good out of 50? And that's the end of the show. So. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's my man. He 
racist though. <laughs> What about his girl? Them. What about his girl? No. No, I... I no. And, and, Hang on, wait, can you hear that? Shut your mouth. In all honesty... It, X-Files music. <laughs> <laughs> In all honesty, I'd say about 43, 44. Okay, big guy. <laughs> well, hello? About 35. 35? 35? Mm-hmm. Really? So I thought I was a, bad. A good, a good 15 is going to be like, nah, not a good man. Probably, I'm just being. I'm being honest because I don't know. I think I'm a good person. I don't know if everybody else around me thinks I'm a good person. People think I'm aggressive. They that would that's not really a good trait, is it? Aggressive. Yeah, but then why would they? What would you think they would say that would be negative against you? In what respect? He's aggressive. No, I'm, I'm talking about all of us. Aggressive and be good. How right. we are in relationships, our attitude. Like well, a lot of people what? say that when you even listen to the podcast and you see some people's reactions, they say that what well, that stuff said today that somebody called us a misogynist. Stuff. Hotep misogynist. Yeah, so stuff like that. People could say that's we not have to that. talk. What does that mean? What hotep or Hot- misogynist? Hot- hotep misogynist. What does that mean? I think I they mean like, what's his name in it? What's that guy's name? Who that? The, the one that was pretending he was talking on the phone when he wasn't talking on the phone. Oh, Umar Johnson. Yeah, that other guy. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People like him, Bryce Johnson, those types of guys. No, yeah, but we're we nothing like that. We don't talk. We don't talk. Like, that's what, I didn't say that we are, but that's what I'm assuming. Those are the whole no, team. I, I, this is why I asked what, what that what that means because I took it the other way to say that we say stuff against the whole tech community in in, in, a fa- in a fashion, and and it, may, maybe some of our our quips and our jokes about the whole tech community is taken in the wrong way because we're not talking about whole tech community. We're talking about no, no, the no, full no. tech people. The, the, it it's was it misogyny, was right? it was used as you guys are mis- misogynist, mis- misogynistic. misogynistic yeah they just added the whole type on because of whatever it was meant oh, to be oh okay alright uh, we could be seen as misogynist but whole type misogynist I don't know you, so you, we, are, you are arrested so um oh so 35 oh my god 35 I, I'm gonna say 35 I think 15 people if I was to have 50 women have interactions with me as I said, I leave an impact on all of them. Fifteen of them will probably be a negative impact where they'll say, "Boy, I don't know about this guy." If you know me just through social media, it would be different. But if people that actually know me, it's not, not. yeah, I, yeah. If you if actually got just, just people that see see what I say on Twitter, ain't, ain't, most of them are like me. I don't, I don't know. As I said, I'm not really um or anyone on the uh, millennials. They don't uh, yeah, like me. fifty women that have experienced me. That's why I said forty five because there's five like five women that I would say. It's usually one woman you've touched with. Someone you touch and, and she wants you to touch her more and you didn't touch her again and that's, that's the that's the reason she I, don't like those it. Those are the people I, I don't worry about at all. Do you remember? But they're gonna be they're gonna be on that list. But I don't think they're gonna be. I don't think there's any oh, the, women that, have, that like me and I don't know that they like me. And no, I, don't know that they like I said me. women that you've, you've touched, touched and you don't you don't you don't want to touch them anymore. Yeah, and they want I, to be touched. I don't think I don't I won't, I won't worry Tempted about them. To touch. Do you remember Ewoks, brethren? <laughs> Which one? There's plenty of them. You know the one I'm talking about. The one that you touched. Yes. Uh, but they're happy now, bro. Are you coming? <laughs> are you coming to bring their happiness? Like? No, no, they hate me, man. They hate you. Yeah. Why, bro? I will stay, man. <laughs> I didn't know this. I didn't even know why. I didn't. I didn't know why at the time. Uh, but they're like, but they're like, when I say they hate me, I mean they hate me. Do you know what I'm saying to you? Not that something I've done. They just don't like me. But why would you? As a touch? person, I don't know. Bro, sometimes you touch somebody, and when they want to be touched more, you don't want to touch them. They don't like you anymore. It's like they must take that emotion and change it into something else. If I can't like this person anymore and that be reciprocated, I, this emotion needs to change into something else. Otherwise, I'm going to be pining on them. Mm. So that that like now turns into it's like my ruler theory. You know my ruler theory. If it's one thing on one side, it's going to be the same thing on the other side. They don't. I don't like it, you anymore. It took me a long time to understand it because I haven't done anything bro, wrong. It's bro. not you. It's, it's them. <laughs> don't like me, bro. But I didn't know. Properly hate man. Okay, we'll take that that conversation offline. We're, we're going to be done now. Anybody want to add their own little last bit of mints on before we do our church notes? I'm sure there's some we should have spoke about, but we just haven't. Yes, uh, that is true, but we had a nice fluid conversation for two hours. So there you go. Yeah, this is us having a convo. You yeah. get me. All right. Bonjour. The original three plus one more. That's what I'm the first person. Yeah. It's bare fun. <laughs> All right, let's do our church notes and our goodbyes. <laughs> let's start off with that actor. What's going on, people? D A T A C T O R. On Twitter and Instagram, it's your boy, the actor. I'm about say something and I'll say something back. Simple Simon. Simple Simon at, uh, at Simple Simon FB on Twitter. I'm part of the Twitter Rati, whatever that means. I'm out here just throwing insults. I retweet a lot. So if you're wanting to get some stuff out there, what's that about? Hit me up and I'll retweet. Bro, you know? What's the rubbing the legs about? 
I'm cold. I'm feeling anxious, bro. I'm trying not to punch <laughs> you in the throat. <laughs> for that shit you just said a minute ago. I was about to say, yeah, you do retweet. You retweet some of my stuff. Thank you. There you go. Well, fuck I'm you. very supportive on Twitter. Big Wala. Uh, you're gonna start a fire. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, he's rubbing his legs. Gonna start a fire. Hey, um, um, simple. simple Simon. Start a fire. Start a fire. <laughs> I know why you have to always take it to the Bashment lyrics there. Because every Bashment song. The same reason you must always take it to rape. Oh wow. <laughs> That's, That's just the direction he goes into. All right, so he took his time. You at, ready? At Big Wahala on Insta. At Big Wahala on Twitter. I'd like to shout out the missus at One Stop Dreadlock. Uh, she actually featured on um, Black Hair Magazine UK. She's got like a, it's like kind of like a rolling feature now where she gives people tips on how to um, look after their locks and such. Wow. So well done that lady. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> you want to catch her, she's on, she's on blackhairmagazine.co.uk. Plug. And it's, um, I think this one's about the best, uh, the, the best things for like parabens and sulfates and stuff, free cleansers that you can oh, put in your locks. What? Par- paraffins and what? Uh, is these not fishes? Paraben and, and sulfate free. Not um, paraffin. Shh, go on. Paraben, I think. <laughs> go yeah, on. Steph said paraffin. I don't know what he said. Sulfate. I probably did say paraffin. I thought he was paraben. I think it is. And sulfate free uh, cleansers. So she talks about how to clean your your locks, basically. You mean paraffin free so it doesn't ignite? Paraffin, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, paraffin is like the light. It's like light fluid. I'm it's, reading paraben. P A R B E N. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I'm and so fate. Anyway, that is the thing that she's, she's talking about. Go and check it out on blackhairmagazine.co.uk. Every time I want to do something for my woman, you lot always mess me up with this. We talk over everything. Carl has let me just say the thing properly and make me not look like I'm, I'm an idiot. But we don't know whether you're saying it properly. Well, if then let me get it wrong. And, this is what I'm saying. You should always your boys, you know? Let me get it wrong and strong. Let me be wrong and strong. I in this told thing. you, can't trust your friends. Let me be wrong and strong. trying to help you. No, I don't want to be helped. I'd rather, I'd rather be wrong and strong. And cool. then somebody from outside come and tell me and throw the rocks on it. Don't need to throw the rocks on the inside. Sun's getting kind of low, big But man. yeah, anyway, so check her out on that. Um, yeah, and she's got some other ones on there as well. But yeah, this is the latest one. And yeah, that's me. Gaza, I just remembered. Sorry. The plug that I had for this week was for um, a play called Baba Sege's Wife's. It's a uh, currently showing uh, Sergey, Pap- Sergey, Baba Sergey's wife, Baba Shaggy, Baba Shaggy. Sorry, Shaggy, Mister Sergey. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, like that. <laughs> okay, um, it's currently showing at the um Arcola Theatre, which is on Ashwin Street in Dawson, it's like Dawson Junction, directly opposite Dawson Junction um, Station. Um, it's it's really good, reasonably priced. It's a really good play. Um, I went to go and see it today with the missus. She took me out there. Shout out to the missus for that one. But yeah, everyone's missus took them out, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the missus for that one. Oh, we kept men. <laughs> yes. Except somebody whose missus is not here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Lonely. lonely. I am so lonely. I will take myself out. Thank you. So, yeah, Baba, Baba, Baba. <laughs> he got a choice. Check his wife. He's um, really good. It's a, it's a Nigerian play. It's a very, very nice story. Go out and see it. Do you know when it finishes? Cause I, uh, I'll it's look to go. running from now until July. Um, I can't remember the last date in July, but it's, there's two performances on Saturdays. Uh, one's at three, one's at seven. And there's a performance every day um, during the week. Can you take children? Uh, you can, but I wouldn't because there is profanity in... Uh, oh, that's right. Profan- she, she profanity right. and um, scenes of sexual nature. But no nudity. There's no nudity, but there are scenes of sexual nature. It's very, very. I was talking about taking my my, my daughter. Yeah, you, yeah. I would, I would. I was gonna take my daughter, but um, after we seen it, we said no, we wouldn't. She can. She can see the stuff. Now I wanted to grow up. But, right. Uh, because if it's if it's well, I want to. I want to see it. My wife ain't gonna go in it. I'll take her. We we'll go. If well, okay, I, but I, yeah, it's good. So um, and it's reasonably priced as well. All right. Um, I am Stavros, and you can catch me at Stavros Boss. Stavros says this week is the film, the soundtrack, and the song Crooklyn. Oh, you went back in the in the archives. Crooklyn is a film. It, it was made by Spike Lee. It was written by his sister, or co-written by Spike Lee and his sister. It's kind of like based on their life growing up in Brooklyn, and um, about the family life. So it's about a bunch of kids and their parents. Hide it's your kids, a, hide your wife. It's a very quaint film. It's, I grew up 
watching it around the time when it came on, so I would have been around 14, 15 or so, 16. I think we had it on Pirate, so I would have watched it when it came out. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful film. It resonates with my heart very much so. Um, I don't know. I, there was just so much I could relate to in the film in terms of family, you know, Dynamic. dealing yeah, dealing with your brothers and sisters. Um, that actor, you come from a bigger family than me, so it might even resonate more with someone like you. There's a lot of reminiscence in that film. It's a, it's a beautiful film anyways. Yeah. Um, the soundtrack is, in fact, there's two CDs and I bought them both back in the day. And it's just a bunch of old uh, old songs. The film is set, I think, like in the 60s. I think it's set in the 60s or the 70s. And the songs are from that era. So a lot of Motown and them kind of things. So it's it's classic, good music. And then the actual song called Crooklyn. I can't remember. Is no. the third part of the recommendation. And it is... What are we trying to remember? The, 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 song, the, song, the Crooklyn, song Crooklyn. Special Ed, Master Ace. Oh, okay. I could have told you that. And, okay, but he's you the third person. Listening. He's the third person. Um, the guy from um, Black Moon, isn't he? Buckshot. Yeah. Yeah. Ding, 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 Buckshot. Ding, so, ding, I'm trying to remember who the, who the producer was. Ding, ding, it was... Um, oh, 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 oh. Mm. Anyways... It's one of the best rap songs ever. Listen to it. Go on to YouTube and at least listen to that. If you don't watch the film, because you're not into that kind of thing. You watch, know, like the film, me, watch the film. Watch the film. Watch the film. If you don't buy the soundtrack or or stream the soundtrack because you're not into 60s, 70s music, I understand. But if you love, or if you like rap, listen to the song Crooklyn. Crooklyn Dodgers. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song. Yes, sir. All right. So that is us. Thank you for listening. You can find us all collectively at ESM Podcast on Instagram and on Twitter and other social medias. You can search for Eloquently Say Nothing on Facebook. You can listen to this podcast. Well, you'll listen to it anyway, but we are on Apple Podcasts. We are on SoundCloud. We are on Stitcher. We are on uh, Google Play Music. We are everywhere except Spotify, I think. And I'm aiming to find a way to get us on there. So uh, spread the good word. Thank you very much. Uh, use the hashtag ESMPod when we're talking. What's your problem? No, no, long thing, man. Anything. Because my chest is, is mashed up. I'm then then that makes you big money Come on, Weezy, quicker. baby. Weezy, baby. Right. Weezy. <laughs> okay, thank you and uh, goodbye. Um, I've been rushed. Uh, yeah, peace. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you ain't saying nothing, say it well. Slag for life. If we touch you and we don't want to touch you anymore, shame. So, oh yes, make sure you go out and get uh, Black Panther on Blu-rays. And it's finally... Oh, it's on the Blu-rays now. It's been, it's it's been released. Go and get them deleted scenes. Yeah. I want them deleted. I want my accolades. I want the director's cut. No like that. Yes. Yes. We got a new album to listen to. He's well, cutting to Nas. Is um. Yeah. People are tweeting already that the boy. He's cutting He's ready shit on Nas, boy. People are saying that boy. Nas could have had two days worth of listening. I don't. No, know, I don't know. If yeah, Ro- I don't know if Rory's listened to it from um. Uh. uh Joe Budden podcast, but he just tweeted, "Are we ready to put to the best rapper alive for the best?" I know you've been talking about that. I know you've been talking about that. I know it's a big problem.